Welcome to Sad Boys, a podcast about feelings and other things also. I'm Jarvis. Minus one second. Mine, wow, that was really impressive. Thanks, Steve. You know what's funny is that's still slower than the world record. It sucks. It's <laughs> like dog shit just, how long it took to do the Rubik's Cube. Yeah. Um, and I, my, I looked more focused as well. You weren't looking at I it. I fucking so love least. those TikToks, dude. They like, it's like they don't like the cube. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> it, it's, it's always some kid who's like a, a Rubik's Cube enthusiast coming up and being like, hey, what's up, uh, Jacob? Could, could you fix this one? And they're just going like, Yep. <laughs> Do it really fast with one hand. Like, that's yep. it's a Ruby scoop. Hey, the same rules as always. Thank go. you so much. And I'm Jordan. Hi. What's up? Um, we were just talking before the show about building furniture. And I was about to say that I am in a weird place mentally, physically. My body's deteriorating. I'm having like a bad you sort look of thing. Thank you. Um, Yo, sick, cool. <laughs> I'm having like a bad health, like, what would you even call it? Like bad health winter <laughs> where <laughs> Cuff the season, season, season of pain. bad, the season of bad health where like, um, <laughs> that's a, like a destiny battle pass. Right, right, right. The, <laughs> Three season, of, <laughs> the season of bad health. Yeah. Timeless travels. The season yeah. Of timeless bad travels. Health. Um, my, like all of my chronic stuff is like coming up <laughs> more more so than usual so i've like been breaking out the hives every day and been been bi- like oh, I'm yeah. I- that doesn't happen as much these as since well, i've known you at least it's like it's gone in waves it's gone in waves and it's i had a i had a big big kind of flare up with it in well the thing is i take allergy medicine every day it's like this chronic hive thing it's not allergies but it's like a autoimmune thing that is like a histamine response and so like that's why i do the antihistamines and stuff i have like some of the hives like on my arm and just uh, it's like all up my back right now and so it's like very hard to be comfortable but that's been like it was a little bad maybe five years ago before that it had like mostly disappeared and then it came back like five years ago and then it was really intense for like a little bit and then it's like chilled out a bit since um but then recently, like the past week or two, it's just been really intense again. And I'll like, I like had a shoot the other day and I like woke up and like my lips were super swollen. And then I had to like take my like Zyrtec, which is just like the over the counter, like antihistamines that I can take. Just hope that it like goes down, but it just like makes me uncomfortable like every, everywhere I am. And so I've just been spending a lot of time in bed. And then I also have uh, not been having um, a lot of. I've just been having separately to this executive function issues. So like, sure. I have uh, never helped by poor no, quality of life. Exactly. Kind of, yeah. yeah. And then my sleep has also been kind of whack. Like dastardly cycle. And so I think the sleep and the histamine stuff like is tied together. Like when my sleep is bad, it does tend to get worse. But the yeah, that's uh, literally the case, right? Like uh, when people struggle to sleep from. Some kind of dietary, like I, I can't eat like some fish for the same reason. Mm. And you know me, the not sleeping bastard. Of yeah, Britain. you are, you are the not sleeping bastard. I was. Did I not do it last night? Yeah, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> but not otherwise, kind of sometimes. But the yeah, you wake up and it's at some point, or not even wake up, but you, at some point your body starts getting itchier and it's like mm-hmm. boosted by the adrenaline that you kind of start leaking because you're trying yeah. to move. And it's do. like the amount of, and this is like a little TMI. So, but. Like the the sign that it's getting bad and this has happened is like when I was a kid. When I was a kid when this first started happening, it was like eleven. Um ten, eleven. I don't really know. I'm itching right now, Jesus Christ. Um when it first started happening, I would like scratch myself so hard that I would like bleed and stab yeah. and I just wouldn't notice. And so it's like it's just bothering me so much and it's so like incessant that I just like scratch instinctively and then I like I'm like, oh no, that 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 was like already kind of you know, to the point of like breaking the skin. And it, it really is it's like a buggy body that needs like a patch. Because yeah. it's like, well, I shouldn't have the instinct to scratch if that's worse. Yeah. Turn, it, turn off. Don't do that. Um and I don't want any no backseating in the comments about by health uh unless you specifically have chronic urticaria uh yeah, i'll give it a swing <laughs> Stop um, it. but like uh but anyway um so on top of that i 
I've had all these so backseating. That is a good way of phrasing it. Yeah, know, yeah. You know. uh, well, I've been streaming a bit, and we'll talk about that. No, please. Um, but uh, so on top of that, the executive function stuff is rough, and so I am doing some moving around in the uh, in the place and re, re like I'm, I've got some new furniture, little furniture pieces to put in the office, <clears throat> and I they will take no time to build. I just haven't sat down and built them. So I'm literally just going to get a task rabbit to build it so that I can move on with that, like turn that page of my to-do list. Cause right now I just fucking can't sit down to do it. And it's like the easiest thing in the world. So it's like frustrating cause I've, you know, built larger, more complex mm -hmm. <laughs> pieces of furniture. Uh, but there's that compl like complex, right? There's a, we can know it intellectually as much as we want exactly but the truth is that like when you're low you're only as good as your most recent x thing right yeah you're only as function you're only as fit as your current fitness you're only as yeah you never achieved anything that wasn't like today mm -hmm. or like i've always been the way i am and that's bad and and what i yeah exactly and so like i know that if i just wait longer i will come back around and be able to do it but I need, I like want things to keep moving. So yeah. I might just like have a, have a task tasker come. It's still nice. It's still nice to see progress. Exactly. Exactly. I, uh, I always forget the fucking term, but like there is, a, I think a point of maturity or, or I don't know. Um, I guess you could call it emotional development, but that always sounds so kind of wanky, you know, uh, but like a version where you kind of accept the things you can't be good at at certain times mm -hmm. or the, you know, the exercises where you're, you're pulling an old injury or the habits you have that are bad, like by like having a lot of storage and surfaces, for mm -hmm. example, is like mm -hmm. a change I feel like we both acknowledged after moving. I think both in the, we talked about it in like San Francisco. We both like didn't realize that that was helpful. Oh yeah. And where, if you are predisposed to like, depressive lapses or even just for whatever reason extended periods are not being as functional it's prevention is the only cure like you just have to have so many draws at such immediate <laughs> distance yeah yeah that or better yet like having like a designated area where the dishes that need to go upstairs yeah, it's like having a, having a place for everything like i literally um the laundry do can go on the floor but it goes on the floor in the in the in the specific place it goes on the floor so it doesn't <laughs> there's just... a room that i'm turning into the game room that has just been like the recycle bin the uh, or the no 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 no. it's the equivalent of when you want to clean up your desktop and so you create a folder and then you put sure. everything on your desktop <laughs> yeah. into that folder personal but yeah so i'm just like trying to weather that weather that storm and it's it's temporary but um and try not to be too hard on myself in the meantime because that's the easy thing is like oh my god these things are so easy why can't you do them but you've got to just meet yourself where you are and you know be kind to yourself and not you don't gain anything by beating yourself up so you just so sure. ruminating on the what instead of the why kind mm -hmm. of thing yeah or just like ruminating in the moment too because you've got to like uh kind of just continue to be present and focus on like what your needs are. And My site called me very explicitly out for ruminating on details. And we, I mean, we've talked about it before. Like it's so, it is literally just easier to focus on tangible pieces of a problem that were like a unique to the moment. Like, man, I just, my fucking, I can't, I, don't, I need new shoelaces. Right. That's like, and I can't so seem to get the new shoelaces. Yeah, I'm pathetic. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. As opposed to like, well, no, you just need, something has to be done but mm -hmm. a bit often not even a crazy high priority thing you just sometimes it's um, mixing up like correlation and causation right it's like when i have built furniture for my place mm -hmm. i felt really good right i must i'm last time it must have made me feel good as opposed to like already kind of okay at the time and then building the furniture brought it right. up like I'm sorry, you're not feeling so good, dude. That's okay. And you don't um, look at the saying you look crazy is completely wrong. You look handsome as always. Hey, well, you know it's funny because like I have to just you know power th or I have to kind of just set aside the 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 sort of negative narrative and and just continue on and kind of not acknowledge it or at least like hit the hit the snooze button on it because um, I also. It's one of those things where I think in my life, and this is I think common with people. 
with ADHD too, it's, it's like, um, it's like everything's like high functioning and then like everything like goes to shit and then you like sort of, and they kind of rise and falls. And, I, and so for me, it's like everything's up or everything's down. It's kind of how it's always felt. And I am also not eating well right now. Um, haven't had good health habits. It's like haven't been walking around, haven't even been playing Pokemon Go. Uh, the uh, I'm going to try today to just eat a salad once for one meal this i haven't been eating the worst but i just have been eating totally fine and then eating a bunch of candy at the end of the day and i'm like why am i doing that it's because i I, i'm like i need some sort of solace some sort of reprieve from the the perils of existence but and that's like one of the Look, just like biologically, I will get some satisfaction. There's only so much. It's like, yeah, it's like yeah. it's I, a, I get in a bad it's like a dr- drug. It's yeah, like, I get in a bad drinking habit with it. Yeah, it's yeah. Like, it's like just like a will. little bit of an escape. It will suck. It won't be good enough, and it won't yeah. go for long enough. But like, I don't know. I can play. I can like lap tech and combos on a couple IPAs in you know, a way that I can't. You know, right. That's yeah. Bone dry. Right, and you know, part of the reason for that is, um, I've talked to my therapist about this. Is uh, you. It, it it's not a it's not meant for this purpose, but like it's knowledge to know that like when part of your mind is like quieted, you are more at peace. Kind of like when I'm um, it, which is like uh, if you're drinking, then you're like a little, you're just like not yeah able to like tap into that anxiety mm-hmm. sometimes as much. It depends on the person, but obviously again, uh, slippery slope, and I wouldn't recommend anyone self medicate with alcohol. Sure. And there's a little bit of. Well, I can't go anywhere. I've been drinking. Right. What right, I'm right. supposed to do? My emails? I just had beer. It's nine p.m. I just had beer. What am I gonna but, do? But like my version of that was, uh, I always wish that I could be in the state when I'm like about to fall asleep, because I feel like I enjoy things so much more. Oh yeah. Like um, I'm like oh, I can just oh I can just listen to this like watch this video that I normally or watch a movie that I normally uh would be too like sort of divided attention, anxious brain, not be able to focus on. But now because my faculties, oh, I think this is where I talk to my therapist about this. Like when I'm tired, like super tired, sometimes that's when I feel the most at peace because my brain doesn't have the energy to bounce around and be anxious it's sure. like i can only really focus on what's in front of me or you can like tap on it for a second and be like well i, I don't know i can deal about it yeah yeah i'm yeah. dumb right now yeah exactly exactly um but and you can't remember all the details yeah and they're not important and it, <laughs> which I, is yeah i mean you shouldn't that's that that's that is thing. ideal it's like um the the a thing that i've been pra- talking to my therapist about is like um uh single pointedness which is just to like only focus on the task at hand because um, it's a thing that I just need to practice. And, and in that, in, in a world where you can control 100% of your attention, anxiety doesn't exist because like by yeah. definition, it's like divided attention. And I'll just, um, I'll just resolve the thing I don't feel good about. I'll just, there we go. It's yeah. gone. It, but, but, uh, but yeah, it's like easier said than done, obviously. Uh, Cause even, like I'm someone who always like wants something in my ears, some sort of distraction, some sort of something to like quiet the voices or whatever. Mm-hmm. Like I, no, there's not really voices. It's just like the discomfort of like silence, I guess. Sure. Um, Especially if you don't feel uh, times like we're describing, right? Like if you don't feel like you can fill that time with doing something proactive and solving it. Mm-hmm. Like I don't even want to, I mean, you know, it's the classic putting on a podcast in the transition from Picking up the Uber Eats meal to the couch oh, while yeah. choosing something to watch on the TV, casting it, playing something on the Switch while you eat. Dude, 100%. It's like the, um, I talked to my therapist about this as well, like the discomfort of the thing you're in the middle of an action. Let's say you're doing the dishes and then like the thing ends. Like, all right, guys, that's enough for this video. We'll catch yeah. you in the next one. Oh, oh, my hands are wet. <laughs> it's, like, it's like you enter a quick time event. And like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I missed X. <laughs> Fuck. Um, um, yeah, yeah, it's like, uh, it's like the, uh, you know, there's like a red halo around everything, like around the screen, and you're like, doo-doo. 
You get four <laughs> retries until oh, the video fuck. actually ends. Oh, fuck. I got to refresh the home feed. Is there a new video? You hit refresh oh. one time. You're like, fuck. No, that, I've that seen one doesn't this. fit. Oh. You hit refresh the second one. Fuck. I don't want to watch that either. <laughs> then you refresh the third one. You're like, oh, I guess. I guess yeah. I could. Autoplay goes on to like, you just listen to a two hour video essay and then it goes into a three hour video essay. Same creator, but you listen to it last week. Oh yeah. It's not that old. Oh, the amount of times the autoplay or you get recommended a video that you forgot that you started watching mm. and were fully like halfway through like an hour and a half video. That happened yesterday with a Dan Olsen video. I've been re-rolling through the folding ideas videos. Yeah. Um, Cause c when it comes to re-watching a long video, I, I do quite enjoy doing it, but there's a mental hurdle to starting it. Like, that's not efficient. <laughs> I'm not using my time efficiently. Oh my God. As though I remember the nuances of a fucking folding ideas video from two years ago. Like, the, how would I know? Yeah, no. The H Bomber guy video, the oh, plagiarism yeah. one, like that one, obviously everyone was recommending it, but I was like, I need, I need to find the right moment to watch a four hour video. Oh dude, I, yeah, I need to see uh, Tenet and IMAX kind of, you know, yeah, I, need yeah, to, yeah. I need to see it the way the artist intended. I feel like I'm just such a yeah fan of Harry, especially that I just don't want to kind of misuse his videos mm -hmm. but at the same time i've never once felt that after watch it's never taken place like i've just been shitting during a part of it and it does <laughs> not take away from the video at all because i wasn't even looking at the video i was on the switch right uh, i was no it's, such I a, it's a delusion i do think it's a uh maybe it's a habit that we develop but i do also think it is like a a, a component of adhd i feel at least where you're like trying to optimize a lot and you get option paralysis because, well, I could be watching it. I could be casting to my TV, but the TV in the living room is, you know, it's like, then I'd have to be hanging out in the living room and I want to build this piece of furniture in my bedroom, but oh, I think my- I need the perfect I thing in the perfect place everywhere. Yeah, I don't, yeah. Uh, we got to take the dog out in a sec. So do I watch it now or do I, should I take little- Yeah, how do I, out? okay. So yeah, how do I plot this path? The, where I walk the dog, <laughs> I do my catches for Pokemon Go. I listen to the video I need to listen to. <laughs> And it's like and it's all leisure. <laughs> like it's, it's all, all something it's, I want to do. And, it's, and it's also something where it's like you. I could just walk the dog with no music and just enjoy it. Yeah. and it's fine. I, I've not enjoyed a a piece of fiction as much as I did just watching. Uh, I had I had, I had kind of a, a manic type thing yesterday, or hype manic response to good news, which I'll, we can mention maybe in a sec. But the. I had like kind of a hypermanic period the following day. And so I just couldn't really sleep last night. Not in the normal ways. I didn't want to take my new medication because I was worried about being drowsy and just missing the show. And uh, I, something I, I, I need to get past that, but I might need you to start calling me. <laughs> uh, that's right. I, I'll do that. Um, thanks, dude. I, I, I will um, have like an Amber alert. <laughs> Sorry. Your Jordan, life alert. Yeah. Sleepy bastard, eat shit. Yeah. But I, I, it's like loved. a sleep app, but I can listen to it live. <laughs> it's like a baby monitor for a man. <laughs> I'm so drowsy. <laughs> oh, let's check on the baby. But I was so... Oh, he's sleeping on his face. Yeah, you give me a teddy bear as a gift <laughs> with a huge, obvious 4K camera in the center of it. <laughs> his eyes yeah, like... <laughs> Sony D Master lenses. <laughs> <laughs> I can hear them back in focus. <laughs> it's what they shot Avatar on. Yeah. <laughs> There's a director. <laughs> <laughs> What's that Leonardo DiCaprio meme? Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude, you said Jacob with all the equipment. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, well, if you want to sleep, the lights on. Yeah. <laughs> you cannot sleep in there. Yeah, it's the one mic in the longest XLR you use. <laughs> <Right. laughs> yeah. It's an XR going all the way out your house into we, uh, mine. We convert like my garage into a studio. I'm like, well, I guess fun. Job, it's Java's idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I. Uh, yeah, I, I I got really really into the extended edition of uh, watching the Hateful Eight at like five a.m. this morning because I couldn't sleep a wink, and I watched it comfortably. I, I got this like little mini couch in my bedroom for, again. Prevention, not uh, prevention is a cure. Do the best to go to the living room. I guess I'll later, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, but dude, being physically too EP, being too much of a small bean at the mm -hmm. time to get up, move around, want to do other stuff, do a crossword on my phone at the same time. 
laying down on the couch, <laughs> watching Hateful Eight and Portrait. <laughs> you know, like like it's in I landscape know, my head when is you're sideways. Too tired to do the other things. It Ooh, is a it Zen mode. Good. Some people are just wired that way, and I'm like, oh, you got the good roll. <laughs> oh, dude, when the Adderall also is like rolling in on extended, and you weren't expecting like it to come around again, and you finally uh, install the supports on a shelf that has been sitting, technically been up in the living room for a while, but wobbles when you put something new on it. The day where I installed those two shelves, when I became the shelf bastard, I, that feels like, that's my crimson chin. I like, I, I the become him. Chin. I, when I turn into the, <laughs> is when I, I feel like, oh, like I shout Shazam. Right. Oh man, I mean. Dextroamphetamine. I still, I still have to hang all the art and I still have to do so many things, but. I know the answer can be no, but if if it would ever help for us to have a leisure day of doing that. I know. I keep telling Anastasia that we're just going to take off one day and I'm going to like figure some shit out. Oh, speak of the devil. I, oh, forgot, she was even, I forgot she was even coming. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, he heard what, I, what we did. Howdy, howdy. Anastasia, I literally just said your name. This is really creepy. <laughs> we, we said, I, I heard it. Yeah, we said it three times in a mirror. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, um, if it isn't fucking show favorite, oh, we love the episodes of Anastasia. Yeah, don't we won't show her face. Shut the hell up. Um, somebody do fan out of Anastasia. I mean, they know what she looks like, so it's not as it doesn't work the same way as the Jacob ones. But do do it if you don't know what Anastasia looks like. It's, they would interpret it. Yeah, they just draw a cyborg. I love More. fan art. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she that would be sick. Please do do. Uh, <laughs> Do do, yeah. Please do do, yeah. That's <laughs> yeah, that, sure, <laughs> me and my my doctor. They're please like, do, do. please do do. <laughs> you 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 have like an inflated stuff. Yeah. <laughs> oh come on. Please please do do. Please That's do. me talking to my dog. Uh, <laughs> when he's like, I don't wanna, and I'm like, please do do. Dude, Fox is uh the the command for her to like pee while we're out is uh go potty, mm -hmm. and I. <laughs> I feel so embarrassing. Yeah, I, I know it's right. It is like it is perfect for her. It's quick. She gets it. But it is there is this um the toxic masculine part of me is just like <clears throat> yeah. Uh, come, come on. Go. Go party. party. Go party. Oh I said go party. <laughs> like, you party. freaking Americans don't understand my accent. It's just my like sweet Hispanic neighbor. <laughs> just didn't hear a word I said. I like, uh, what was that? Party I said. I was just saying <gasps> I was just saying that um, we we're talking about executive function stuff, and uh, Jordan was talking about like when you finally like like connect that shelf or whatever that's kind of there, but it's yeah. a little loosely thing. I was talking Stabilize about the book how shelf. I need to how I need to put the art up in the rooms. I need to figure out what room. we're starting at though. We we did we did some of this furniture we got was me and Anastasia like on Zoom going okay, I need Jacob. to finally solve this problem of like what's gonna go over here, but um. It doesn't feel like one of those things too, where depending on your mood and well-being, it can be a work work thing, but also it's like the little things often feels like, why was I putting this off for so long? And you then feel worse. But if you're a little more balanced or a little more, you know, even if you're a little low, but you get that done, you got the exact opposite response of like, oh, thank God I'm out of the slum. Neither of which are true. Dude. It's just phrasing right uh, uh you didn't do something then you did something the why is not the annoying. other day we were looking at we were in a meeting sad Boys meeting about this this episode and talking about some stuff that we're going to talk about later on in the episode and i pulled up an old episode of the show from june and i saw the background and like while there has been a lot that's changed it reminded me of how much i haven't done down here and i had this immense like Come the fuck on, dude. Why aren't you? Ah, just fucking do the thing. Jordan, I, uh, talking a lot about myself. How are you doing? Uh, and I'm going to talk about myself some more. So I'll gotta talk make sure about I'm yourself. On you. Ew. <laughs> I, Icky. It just, I do sometimes feel like, uh, I'm, maybe it's like a comfort with the show thing or like finding, you know, voice so and so. I feel like I went from, not liking how forced ostentatious I used to be on like older versions of the show or my channel and stuff back to being a little too, I don't know, 
a different kind of inauthentic, which is like a little lower. These are not things I'm going to translate to the show or the people around me at all. But you know, again, lower points you analyze different ways. To now, uh, I'm I'm analyzing my silliness level because I do still like going ew or <laughs> saying like zip. You know, those are like, like stuff like, like the sound doing order. sound. So if he's just like, uh, yeah, it was really hard. Like, zip. You know, it's like stupid shit like that. I am, it's like a slide whistle. I am trying to like. You know, accept the journey, the change, or whatever. That's just a thought that randomly came to mind. Anyhow, um, I'm always right. Nothing's wrong about me. Mm -hmm. I was so bad because, uh, and I didn't want to talk about it previous episodes of the show, but since, well, we've always known it was coming up, but my, we are in the process of my next visa. The, the final frontier. The final visa, in, in, you know, ideally, in, <laughs> short of me doing a misdemeanor and or being killed. Well, I guess it's still the final visa. <laughs> uh, misdemeanor is my Mr. Beast. <laughs> but he's uh, so Channel mean. where I take things away from people. Yeah. If, <laughs> yeah I'm going to take your house if you don't uh, give me a million I found a hundred, I stole a hundred boys and a hundred girls. <laughs> I blinded, <laughs> I trapped him in a hole. And I won't let him out of this Lamborghini. <laughs> I, I drove that bus into a pit, but the kids are still in it. Yeah. That's so mean. Describing a huge, like, crime as mean. Yeah, it's man, like you, that's mean. You have a hundred people. You have a hundred <laughs> rich guys touch a Lamborghini, and whoever stops touching it last loses <laughs> yeah, their Lamborghini. Is, is beheaded. That in actually, a hold on, that might be a channel I'd watch. <laughs> they uh, all own. It's a timeshare Lamborghini that they all own. They all own <laughs> it. <laughs> or a, a, a couple, and they have to get divorced when they, <laughs> I, <laughs> just I, always. I guess oh, saw. That's kind of Mister Meany. Yeah. yeah, Jigsaw is kind of a Mr. Mister Mis, Meaner. Mis, hey, you want to play a game? You Has gotta... anyone ever done that? Mr. Meaner? I don't, kind of a I don't think pun. I've heard it. It's Mr. Meaner. Maybe like a Flash villain or something. I feel like you should cut this out of the episode because <laughs> it's just, gold yeah, it and we need to make it. Su- it's my Marvel <laughs> superhero. Oh, that's awesome. That's oh, a musical that's artist. Ah. Oh, it's a group. They're sure. small. You can take it. <laughs> <laughs> You're mine. Destroyed by clout. Um, uh, but yeah, anyway, I... Uh, was very anxious because April is when my H1B with Sadboys LLC resolves. You might be thinking, hold on, but you haven't even been back in the US that long. That's because the H1B, which typically lasts three years, extendable often, not always, lasts for, it's like freestyle <laughs> riff poetry, because the H1B I be on the visa visa. I might get visa v. Out. Yes. Visa v. I be not on H one B no more. See, meh. See, meh. See, A B C H one B. C P three. Oh my God. Uh, oh P R M visa next. No, but no backseating my visa. Don't There's some. Bad. We accidentally activated one sleeper agent. <laughs> Someone woke up and decided to start a podcast. Yeah. <laughs> they go, I must buy a sure SM7B. <laughs> yeah, dude, every new podcast, I need to invest a large amount of money before I, getting there. I, I, I really do. Okay, this is a, and I love you all. All of my friends who are podcasting with uh, sure SM7Bs, these mics cost like a third, a fourth, a fifth <laughs> yeah, of the price. Dude. S- same audio quality for this sort of podcast. Dude. Dude, yeah, I mean, there's too many people holding handheld SM7Bs. <laughs> yeah, unless you're planning to release it like on Apple Music with the oh, oh 3D spatial audio. You're planning app. to record Thriller inside <laughs> yeah. of a fucking uh, recording booth. Exporting at source. <laughs> you have you to also know. don't need a cloud lifter to get to boost your clean gain. Like right. I have asm 7 b I've used it for many years, but. Oh. Cloud, it's got hype beast. True, that's true. I am a hype beast. That, uh, these are all facts. It's it's a supreme SM7B. Oh. The SM58 though. Oops. It's a classic, dude. Uh, but yeah, I've been very anxious because it's coming up, and I think as soon as it was six months away. Oh yeah, the the reason being that I got the H one B three years ago, three well, two and a half years ago. But travel ban stopped me from traveling. And Trump then, said no. 
I don't like the show. I don't like the show. <laughs> I don't like high school workers entering the U.S. Go start doing tech videos again. Start. Bring back the tech videos. I don't like the new stuff. Bring back pitched. <laughs> <laughs> I like the DD. I was the one guy who listened. I listened to that episode. Listen to Arcs. I can't do a Trump. Hey, I wish I could do I need to fucking I'll... sit down for like 10 hours and practice a Trump voice. Yeah, dude, we gotta get it in place for- 10 hours is a long time. I, accents take work. Dude. I actually, you know, I like your Trump better than the real Trump, so yeah, I think you should just stick with it. Um, He's, I bet, we're psyched. You know what voices do come naturally to me as some of the Boulder's Gate characters? Don't touch me. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get me going. I know, Don't I will. Don't get me smoothing. <laughs> It might be the whole damn thing. I know, I know, I know. But uh, yeah, dude, the thumbnail for this one is, uh, and the title is, Unfortunately, Jordan's Baldur's Gate episode. <laughs> where he he, took a, we took a hard left turn. He recites every uh, selection prompt. Like uh, <laughs> when you're in combat, you select Gale, and he goes, All, but no gloom, all doom. Oh, That's I, uh, one, wait, hold on. Let me do this. Uh, I want to do an illithid roll. Uh, so that's going to give me a, it's, it's going to be a difficulty class of two. Not, not, not going to be very hard. And often rolled at advantage. And we're going to, and, and hold on, let's throw on some guidance. Of course. You know, just a little plus so one D4, just a little bit of extra. And we're back to talking about the visa stuff. Oh, thank Christ. <laughs> it's, a, it's a one. Benefited, it benefited everybody else that it's a one. Uh, my bloodthirsty friend. Anyway, doesn't matter, <laughs> whatever. Uh, I'm just a normal human. Don't even fucking worry about it. Fucking relax, hey. I, I have so many funny things to say about this game, but and it'll talk. crush in the Patreon only episode. <laughs> all right, we might have to like start at the end. No, we'll do a little bit, and then we'll uh, we'll we'll. Okay, here's my plan. Mm. We'll we'll put on a timer for ten minutes. After after this, and we'll talk about Boulder's Gate stuff, and right. then we'll just do the rest on Patreon. <laughs> Respect. Uh, yep, visa ending in April. We were making a submission to recapture that time. I don't even know if I should go into too much detail about the Beezer stuff, but I also want to raise awareness for some of the weird logistics surrounding this stuff, because especially with H1Bs, there's a lot of it is clouded, and a lot of people, even with work visas, specialty work visas, um, are not afforded the benefit of like an experienced legal team, like, you know, or consultation. Which I I have been via Zappos LLC. I wasn't sure if I was going to get the recapture time. You're supposed to hear back within 15 days if you pay for premium processing, which we did at the end of December. Then we got some weird email uh, at the end of January when we should have already heard back saying, oh, there was some miscommunication. We're reapplying. It's going to be another 15 days. It was almost another 15 days, and I did get it. And now I have another 400 days. Let's fucking go. And then once the next one is uh, submitted... I am permitted to stay until that one resolves, which could be a couple of years after that. And if I get it, I'm here permanently anyway. So yeah, the, uh, but yeah, the TLDR is like, we had to apply to all of the time that Jordan spent in the UK with the visa, not using the visa to be in America. Yes. We uh, which, applied with the government to like have that time back. But I think like traditionally is, is more framed as to the benefit of the company because we weren't able to like utilize the asset that they paid for and it's um, submitted yeah, for. Yeah, well, I wasn't like, able to utilize Jordan as an asset. I, was, I see him as a pawn. <laughs> I was not applied. Yeah. Like an oil to say a rapier mm. using finesse on Ooh. a bick out of my uh, Yeah, decks. a bonus action dip. <laughs> oh no, come back. <laughs> Minus view somehow. Uh, Ooh, a, a, a cunning action of sorts. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I know I'm edging you. <laughs> uh, I'm gooning for Baldur's Gate. Uh, I don't. Uh, it, 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 I'm still kind of. Pro this was the thing that kind of put me into a hypermanic loop was uh, getting that news back, finally breathing a, a sigh of relief because that has still been an active anxiety even since I came back. Right. I'm going to be back for just over a year, and that yep. was always on the horizon. And. There was a very good chance we wouldn't get a big chunk of it because there were two different reasons. Travel ban was probably very, like, I was very confident about that because that was explicitly outside of my control. And then the uh, the other, like, you know, uh, 200 days or whatever it was, was when I was looking after my mum, which could have been seen as elective in a different way. Mm. Turns out, didn't matter that it was elective, but that was like the, you know, lawyers, God bless them, they are yeah, very... Knows. 
deliberately vague when it comes to like yeah. contingency plans and the like. And now getting that receipt through, I uh, woke up to it and I cried my eyes <laughs> out, dude. I, did, I didn't get up till 3 p.m. I woke up at 10 and I just stayed in bed. I cried and then I would watch something on my phone. And just be like, I just can't get up. I'm not depressed. Well, I am. But the, it's not, it's not what, what's keeping me in bed. It really just is, I don't know how to approach a day without the feeling of blood test results on the horizon. Mm -hmm. And I don't, I, because I didn't really know what to do with it, I, I was in this kind of stasis, kind of like we were saying, where you enjoy the entertainment a little more because there are lower stakes on stuff. There's a lot of shit I still have to do for um, things, personal life stuff in the UK and, and uh, some, you know stuff related to you know, a whole bunch of bullshit outside of Visa, but that resolving, my, my, my psychiatrist very boldly called me out on uh, investigating and focusing on the minutiae of what's stressing me out instead of, say, like, grieving, for example. I'm like, you know, if anybody asks about my mom, I just won't talk about it because the thing that is tangible in there is the Visa. Very real thing, very real yeah. problem, but it is something that is, it's only ruminating. Because what can I say about the video? There's nothing I can do. What I can do is talk to my partner about things with my mom. And, and I was like, I don't, I, I, I want to. And she's very on board. But I get, I just start getting angry, like before I get sad. And then, like, as soon as this news came through, that has not been a problem anymore. I don't know why. But it's clutch. <laughs> it's pog champ, dude. Hey. Uh, just, death don't mean anything to me. I'm immune now. Yeah, it's true. Uh, but yeah, no, it's. I think I'm still riding high on what is, you know, it's funny to be so excited about just kind of like less fear. <laughs> it's, you know, it's not like a fun, fellas, yeah, it's, yeah. you know, it's, it's mediocre, it's mid, if you will. But I am very, uh, it's now when I get a little, I'm putting up a shelf, I don't feel embarrassed at the thought of putting this time and effort into putting up that shelf only to leave later when we do an episode of Sad Boys. I don't feel sad that what if that's the last one when we do, uh, when me and Katie stayed up till like 6 a.m. doing, playing co-op Baldur's Gate. Not, <clears throat> I'm not gonna talk about Baldur's Gate. But... <clears throat> yeah, when you said I'm immune now, I was like, it's almost as if, uh, I don't know, someone like Shadowheart, for instance, casted sure. Sanctuary on you, you know, so that you exactly. couldn't be targeted. But of course, splash damage from other spells will still Yeah, splash damage from other spells. Basically. It's sort of AoE or pushback, you know. And like you could... Next turn, I will not be able to receive Sanctuary at all mm. for balancing purposes. Understandable. Doesn't really make sense within the law. <laughs> Plus, it, I mean, it implies that her concentration was broken for the five turns that it's viable. But yeah, it it's so silly. Why would she My wife? Not yeah. happening to her. She's going to be concentrating on me. Yeah. It, it, at the very least, a bless. <laughs> Especially if her equipment gives you bless whenever she heals. <laughs> I don't even mind. Actually, right now, it's focused mainly on getting reverberation, but come on. Yeah. That's <laughs> See, I'm anyway. Good. I'm good. anyway. <laughs> <I've>, <laughs> it's so... I can't tell you how happy I am that Katie loves that game. Oh, that's awesome. It is like... It feels also nice to be able to apply what has been some worthless D&D &D 5e knowledge for the last... Couple I was years. thinking. I was thinking about you often about that. Um, thinking about me often, dude. Glaze me up, much? <laughs> Jesus, dude. Hey, more like glaive me up. Come you know on. what I'm saying? Two handed weapon with extra reach. Yeah. <laughs> um, Anastasia, yes, no, maybe. Yes. yes. Okay, I love thank it. you. I'm Nerd. Loving all uh, the... Nerd loser. Uh, okay, we can do we can do ten minute Boulder Gate Boulder Gate talk. <laughs> 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 um, <gasps> it's like coming out of the ocean, dude. <laughs> Finally, <laughs> coughing the seawater out of my lungs. Before and I wasn't my, breathing. I'm talking about my fucking bullshit life. Who cares? Who cares when I have my second run where I'm indulging in the absolute a okay, little bit? Okay, so here's the thing. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah indulging in the absolute. Yeah. Uh, so I. Um, all right, we can we can start. I okay. Spoiler, spoiler alert for Baldur's Gate three, but spoiler alert for you to me, so you know where I am. I am. So as I understand it, uh, uh, I was I was in Grimforge. Mm -hmm. If I go, a place a lot of people miss. I, so I was in Grimforge. I I think I accidentally beelined there because people were like, "How did you get here so fast?" And I was like, "I don't know." Dude. I like did a fight, and the next thing I knew, I was in Grimforge. I thought it was part of the critical path because that happened to me too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, did you enter through? What was your? I entered to? through Priestess Guts. 
Yeah. Nobody fucking does that. Same yeah. thing happened to me. Yeah. Uh, pre- I, oh my god. Nobody cracks the puzzle. There were so many fun things though. Okay. So I'm I I'm right pre act two, but I'm gonna do some other stuff before I make the leap. Currently, my run it's like I'm going slow because I've never played the game before. But then also I'm streaming it, and so there's lots of things that end up extending time on stream. But I'm like 27 hours in. Um, the you know my main my main my player character my PC my Tav Jarlin Jar apostrophe L Y N so, shout out kind of close to him. He's uh yeah I wanted to do a little bit of player insert or per insert me. Um, the one you play as a friggin' loser, baby loser, <laughs> as a as a, guy t- a nerd, <laughs> low charisma. So, uh, I'm a uh, I'm a I'm a half elf barbarian. Ooh. Um, it, that's been fun. Uh, the newest fun shit I'm doing is okay. So I started. I'm I'm doing this thing where I'm I'm trying not to spoil myself too deeply on any story stuff, but mm. still doing a little bit of the like. D and D kind of look ahead of like the progression and like figuring out multi-classing sure. stuff for like Boulder's Gate. So I just respect uh my characters. I'm just level five. So I'm okay. still like pretty but early. Post subclass, that's still a fun place. Yeah, to it's play. like subclass is an option. And I'm going to be driving towards now that I've done a little bit more research, I also talked to Maya and Mixem Tune about this. No uh, loser. I'm going to uh I think I'm gonna uh multi-class Asterian into like a shadow monk. I think that seems like it'll be fun. But I but right now, uh I'm kind of gonna wait until I can kind of like probably like level six or level seven to like actually do some substantial stuff. Cause right now I'm liking uh his natural progression, but I understand it like tapers off. I did I did reclass him to a thief though, because originally he was an Arcane Trickster. And then Arcane Trickster, as much as I love Magic Missile, and I love Magic Missile. Oh yeah, we've talked about this for years. Uh, I love Magic Missile. Um, but anyway, my 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 team my team right now is. Uh... Oh yeah. Anyway, so re- respect respect the stare. My my team is Asterian, Shadowheart, and Will. Perfect. Um, Gail, too much of a yapper for me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the man never shuts up. Yeah, I've been compared to him several times with different people. <laughs> Unprompted by them. Um, nice to hear that for no Lazelle, reason for them. Uh, Lazelle's cool Tick. and all. <laughs> but dude, I, the night after the, um, the, uh, the celebration after we saved the Grove or whatever. Sure. Um, in Los Angeles. The, the weird yeah. <laughs> insert. <laughs> I, we must fight for the America. Yeah. I fight for the Americana. I fight for the brand. I fight for Glendale. <laughs> I fight for Mendocino Farms. Dude, Glendale is the equivalent of the astral plane. Yeah, oh, true, 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 true. Yeah, you meet your I guardian. I will ascend. <laughs> They're at Sweet Green. Um, <laughs> so, I so, will ascend to an overpriced rent area. I show them my absolute branding at the Sweet Green <laughs> to get 10% off. <laughs> yeah, dude, I go into the... Uh, the Go into the Americana and you're able to go to that little gin bar for a better price because you have like the head of <laughs> Madara or something. <laughs> um, so during that, uh, that I, I wasn't sure who I wanted to romance at first. I was like talking to Asterian a bit. Asterian as a character, um, people in my Twitch chat are alluding to the fact that his story is like justifies that he's a horrible human being. Uh, and that's fine. But like every time, every time there's like a slave and I go, hey, don't do that to the slaves. Asterian and then Asterian disapproves and you go, okay, Asterian, I don't know. Uh, I, I, look, one of the miracles of this game, <laughs> and I will focus on just glazing up the production of it because yeah. I do think it's just an incredibly admirable piece of work. The, it did not need to have great core mechanics and great writing and yeah, yeah, great yeah. pacing and a great story and great quest work. The miracle of that game is that it pulls it all off effortlessly. Yeah. There are two underwritten characters and Asterion, he's really close. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. A, he has a great story yeah. and it's really interesting, but like as the game goes on, and even, even now is it by no means a story, like the theme of the game is 
uh, how how culpable are you or anyone in that world for how you like metabolize abuse? And, right, 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 right. Exactly. And for you know, example, Karlek as a character, yeah. I think is very. It's very admirable the way that she. Has yeah, Karlak is like it. super upbeat, even though they've dealt with. And I, it was like you have a mechanic in your heart. I haven't yeah. even talked to Karlak that much. And it's like, you, look, you're not you're not responsible for what your natural instinct is. And there's, I, you know, I'm of, you know, it's pretty clear. I'm of the perspective that a lot of Astarian stuff is performative. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like, uh, you know, I've, got, I've done all this dark shit. I can't. I've got gambler's fallacy. I can't go back in it now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two hundred years. But whatever. at the same time. It gets a little so that that uh, actor won the like I think the game awards doesn't matter but but won the game awards award for best performance. Mm. I think that win no bad performances in the game and his performance is great performance especially is as the really story good. escalates. But that feels a little like when everyone was fighting for the I forget her name the, the she played the daughter in everything everywhere all at once. And mm. everyone was like, why didn't she win Best Supporting? Mm. And it's like, well, because her, she, she acted the hardest. Like, yeah, she did yeah, the yeah. most acting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's not about that. What you like is how the character's written. You mm. like the character. And that's not the right. same thing. Karlak is the best performance in the game. Mm. That one is full of a, t a ton of nuance. Gail, for kind of similar reason to Asarian, is, you know, he's not underwritten, but there, you know, there's limitations to what his character can kind of do. I think Shadowheart's performance really impressive, yeah. but that's nepotism, and she is my wife. Yeah, I, I'm playing Borat. She's my wife. <laughs> my wife. I think Asterion is a great character, and he has one of the best companion quest lines. But I think you're very valid to be pushing back. I th I think he's very appealing, and I think that's why he's I like get, Tumblr famous. He's, you know yeah, he's I mean? Tumblr. He's the, he's Tumblr coded, he's right? He's the like uh, he's the Bunty vampire. I've been saying <laughs> Bunt instead. I'm just not comfortable, even though people were like, "You can say it." And I'm like, "I'm like, I don't want to." Oh, um, but but uh, yeah. But anyway, uh, there was like a little bit of sh shards of romance here and there. I let him bite my neck and such. But the, the what was so funny to me is that I, I started turning down his advances. And so come time for like the Grove celebration with the Druids and Halson mm -hmm. and stuff. Is that his name? Yep. Halson, yeah. Big uh, boy. Big boy. Big boy. The, the world's biggest elf. <laughs> 300 pounds heavier than <laughs> any elf that's ever given. If Goldberg was Dude, an elf. zaddy moment, bro. Yeah, he is very zaddy. I, I, that one point, there's literally just a line where you can ask about it. And he just goes like, <laughs> hey, you know, I'm... <laughs> I'm him. He's like, he's <laughs> he like Shaq, it where it's like, it doesn't make sense. You're like, how are you proportionate <laughs> like, at that size? Well, uh, is he the druid? Yeah. yeah. My friend was just telling me at her birthday party that she had like a threesome with someone else Ooh. and him. And then afterwards he turned into a bear <laughs> and they all just cuddled on him as a bear. He is, he is a bear. Imagine doing that. Um, I mean, imagine being some amazing. cheeky bastard that did such a thing. I know, I know. He um, and saved beforehand <laughs> in case something went wrong. Oh, I say okay. Well, so okay. So the so the first night that you can really romance people is after you defeat, defeat this goblin camp and save all these druids, and they're um, if that's the path you take. So what? If that's what you choose. if that's what you choose, and uh, the I had never talked to. Never talking. Sorry, my southern came out for the first time he's ever. A, he's, <laughs> he's, he, you're speaking infernal. Yeah, yeah. I never know nothing there. No, how. yeah, yeah. Um, I had talked to Lazelle zero since the beginning of the game, do and you, she goes, do you wish to "I taste want me. your body." She was like, "I want your body, and I'll take it." And I was yeah. like, "What the fuck? You I'm sound good, like thanks. Cell right now." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I will, I will absorb you, and it will be perfect. And you're like, "I'm actually good, sorry, man." And she's like. Tick. Yeah. Fine. You, you'll be back for my body. Enjoy your lithid worm. <laughs> yeah, it's so weird. I was like, I was like, Jesus. But then I did save because I was curious what the interaction would be like. And then, um, and then after, so you have sex and then she's like, uh, all right, it's morning. It's time to go. And, and, and you're like, do, do you want to cuddle or anything like that? And she's like, I'll come back to take more of what's mine when Fuck I want yeah, to. Dude. And then I was like, okay, you are fucking at 100 mm. too often. I like can't with you. 
Okay, so this is it's been ten minutes. Um, actually, it's been like an hour, <laughs> and we just recorded a full episode of Sad Boys Nights, but we reached the ten minute limit on this episode of Sad Boys. So you can head over to our Patreon dot com Sad Boys Nights to hear us talk for an. I don't know, Jacob. Was it how long was it? <clears throat> Thoughts? It's about an hour and twenty minutes. Ooh. Oh yeah, about. About 80 minutes about Baldur's Gate 3 and D&D. &D. And every week there's an extra episode over there. No other ones have been about Baldur's Gate yet, but maybe they'll only be about that now. <laughs> it's like, we, we're sorry. Uh, we are sorry, but we're getting back into the episode. What about um, shave? <laughs> what about shave between segments? You see the Super Bowl? Oh, uh, the crack of the bat. Nope. The old Close. Take me out to the ball. Game. Still the same sport as okay. which was wrong before. Yeah. And there he is, walking up to the mound. Okay. Another game of cricket. Mm. Goal <laughs> four. Okay. okay. So I'm guessing no. No, which one is it? <laughs> uh, Do you mean the big game? The big game, yeah. Um, no, I, I was kind of lightly tracking it. I watched all the little ads. I'm one of those basic bitches, you know, that does hey, that. I just watch it for the ads, I baby. was supposed to go. Oh, there was a Super Bowl gathering we were invited to, but um, me and the old ball and chain uh, were uh, hung over from Boulder's Gate. Hey. <laughs> so we, we missed it. I, um... How about you? Did you hit the ball? I did. I I hit the Super Bowl um, with my remote control from my television. Oh. I sat on my couch and I watched the Super Bowl. You, you, you NFL or not really? But not like the NBA. Not like the NBA. Uh, I do know things about football. Like I watched football for many years. Grew up in like a football town, so I I'm familiar with the sport. I do enjoy the sport. Is that and. A I was saying that like you wouldn't hear me if I didn't go to the mic. Is, uh, I mean, Atlanta also, right? So at college, presumably. Yeah, in college, I went to every like home football game because my dorm was like right next to the, right next to the stadium. Um, but the thing is, I don't, don't follow professional football that much. I only followed like the college players that I watched like back in the day. And now they've all, they're no longer in the league, most of them, except for Super Bowl kicker. For the Kansas City Chiefs, Harrison Butker, who went to Georgia Tech at the same time as I did, damn, uh, and you, wow! And he broke he broke the record for the longest field goal in the Super Bowl. Look at you! And uh, the Georgia Tech Instagram account posted about how he uh, he used to keep spreadsheets and like analyze the the draft and like the, the angles and stuff of of his kicks with his dad. And I was like, yeah, I love a nerd. A whole uh, I love a nerd playing sports. A sub tab in the sheet, like. Go inside the color outside. Sub tab in the inside. sheet sounds okay. sexual. <laughs> Sub tab in the sheet, full dom tab in the streets. <laughs> dom tab, dude. Uh, so I okay. So the game was very defensive. The offense was like not super present for the majority of the game, and people were talking about it like it was so boring. But I was having so much fun. I was enjoying it. I was on the edge of my seat. I didn't have a dog in the race. Um, you put a uh, pony on it. You got a uh, hundred bucks or something. Riding? No, not even. I was just. I I kind of decided that after seeing a bunch of Travis Kelsey TikTok shorts uh, and YouTube shorts, I was like, this guy seems nice. And he's uh, the guy that is uh, Taylor Swift's boyfriend. Okay. Yeah, that's what they said on the Nickelodeon broadcast. She, she she's not his girlfriend. Okay. Right. right. I met God. She's a woman. Six three, by the way. God was or you? Big oh. <laughs> hey, lady. Um, so, uh, uh, but he, but Travis, but, Kel, uh, the only dialogue I ever heard about the, the game was just people complaining about, you know, because uh, conservatives just learned the word psyop and they're really excited to say true. that she's doing that. Is it, they're not cutting to her that much, no? Uh, the entire broadcast, she was shown for 53 seconds. Ah. Uh. Yeah. Not even a song. No, she didn't <laughs> even play a song. Oh, but who did play a song was Usher. Yeah, what's that about? Cool. I, I loved it. And Ludacris did it? He did. He, he showed up for Yeah. Him and Lil John. Also, Jermaine Dupri was there. Wow. Uh, dressed in a very funny outfit. Were they targeting us? I mean, that seems like I was, demographically... I, it was, it's very millennial coded. I was, I was in. I was into it. Was I Rihanna, Rihanna love was, Usher's music. I grew up with it. Was Rihanna the last, last year's Super Bowl? Yeah. Was that Okay. We're, yeah, they're definitely looping us in. They definitely got it. I um, guess we are the spending age. Yeah. And it is good. Um, 
and uh, the game was good. The 49ers, you know, for some reason, I never became a 49ers fan, even though we were in San Francisco for so they long. They play in Santa Clara. Yeah. Like, you can't really go to a game. Yeah, it's impossible to get to Santa Clara. It's literally impossible yeah. to get there. Especially um, when you climatize to San Francisco, and you're like, a car. <laughs> Yeah, I want to just over there. I want to be over there. But like even public transportation, I mean, the, it it's just, just ends. It's yeah, you can't take Caltrain. Does Caltrain? It doesn't go there. So Caltrain's got like yeah, like four stops of a thousand yeah. miles or whatever. I know it's not in Palo Alto. Um. Anyway, do you remember our coworker that used to yeah. Caltrain in for three hours in and I three think he still hours does. gone? That that he, rat like from bastard. from Sacramento. <laughs> It truly, I know. he would just do his work on the train. All, he's also just a wonderful human being who's helped us out recently. Um, but uh, yeah, so I enjoyed myself. The game at the end got very, got very kooky crazy. It went into overtime. Who was the favorite? Um, the favorite was actually the 49ers, but uh, the, the opponent of the 49ers was the Chiefs and Patrick Mahomes is like a sort of a the Mahomes and the Chiefs it, it's like a burgeoning um dynasty and so it's one of those like don't count them out type situations because okay. in the clutch like they you know can pull it out and they and they've done a, they've won a lot of games from behind as movie narrative it. style underdog moment. yeah and that did actually end up happening in nice. a kind of crazy way like um no and then the Super Bowl overtime rules are like different from or the postseason overtime rules are different from the regular season overtime rules, and there are stories. they always are. Or this, yeah, okay. and and so yeah. I think they always are. Um, but the 49ers didn't prepare for these overtime rules, whereas like the Chiefs did, and so they had a plan for like the coin flip because who gets the ball first, who gets possession first, like matters. Mm. I think if I was coaching, I would make a plan for the game. Yeah, it, it's it is weird. I. And I have barely no football. That's just my... Man, yeah. what, what do I know, right? Overtime for... Yeah, it's weird. Like, not a lot of Super Bowls go into overtime, so whatever. I just, I just We plan out the whole game. I'm like, I'm so tired. I don't yeah. want to... Why are we talking it about this? It was fun. It was a fun... It was a fun watch. I was yelling at the screen, even though yeah. I, like, don't care. I, like... I became invested, like, that morning in the game. Do you think your enthusiasm, like for just all athletics has kind of gone up like rising tide with NBA is yeah, kind of a little all bit, a little bit. Cause a lot of the content creators I follow for NBA stuff are cross interested in NFL stuff. And so if there's more content for me to consume, then I'll just slurp it up like a little. I will say, I want to start coming over or vice versa and watching some NBA games because and like getting into the NBA was one of the things I iced when I got really scared about the visa because that's such a sad thing to enjoy when I leave. Mm. Anything that I like reminds me. So I iced it and now I'm back. I'm watching the video essays again. I'll say it. Oh, there's a, I mean, it's a good time. We're about to have the all star break. The, um, and then, and so the all star game is going to happen. It's going to be kooky crazy. They've Just, already, everyone's already chosen. Like, everyone's already selected. My ass could maybe. You might be able to slide in as an injury reserve. That's anyone that I have to injure myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> kick my ass. You should show up uh, in street clothes, but <laughs> go go into the like go onto the bench, and then maybe they'll be like, "This is like a a guy who's here in street clothes. He's injured right now and he can't play." Yeah, and they try to kick me like out. Ben I'm like, Simmons just on the sidelines. I'm injured, and I'm like, "Hey, you can't kick me out. Ow, my arm. You're it bullying." It is in Indianapolis. It is. Yeah, is I this? don't know if. Right now is like a good time to go to Indianapolis, Jacob, just because it's cold. Is Kansas a state? Look at type, look up, or is it just a city? And it's Kansas City in Kansas. You're talking to a Kansas is confirmed a state. Kansas Hell yeah. City is not in Kansas. That's obscene. But it also is in Kansas. Is it near it? It is. Okay. It's like on the border, and it's so there's in, two, it's in sides? two states. There's yeah. two Kansas cities, and they're touching. Yeah, that's mm. why'd you say it like that? <laughs> <laughs> okay, take it back. <laughs> um, so one of the recent developments of um, so yeah, so we can get you invested in the MVP race, which has just gotten shaken up because the far and ahead favorite for the MVP is now injured for probably the rest of the season in Joel Embiid. 
Um, and there's a story I want to talk about that's related to this and also mental health. Um, and then, uh, so you got the MVP race, you got the back half of the season. You've got teams that really want to make it into the playoffs, teams that really want to make it into the play-in tournament to even have a chance to get to the playoffs. The, the West is incredibly stacked with a bunch of incredible teams and the East is there too. <laughs> I mean, like <laughs> the East is just a little bit more of a foregone conclusion yeah. for who's going to make it into the, the okay. playoffs. Like the good teams are good, but the, the, the drama is missing. The West is just like, it, like the, there's like 10, 10 teams that are like good enough to make the playoffs. And, uh, there's been times in the NBA where things were like so close that teams with incredibly good records and good teams like didn't even make make the playoffs. And so that's why they made the play in tournament, because now there's uh, the bottom. T- what is it? Is it the bottom t- the, the sort of two seeds? So the playoffs is how many teams? Uh, Eight. On eight, each conference. Eight on each. But then it's six and six. And then the play in is between the two and two. Yeah. Uh, oh, wait, no. Four so and the four? play-in is for the uh, seven, eight, nine, and ten seats yes, of each conference. Yes. And so then, and then, then, then two make it um, from from each. So uh, it's like a little pre-playoff playoff, and the stakes are high because you want to even get the chance to compete for the championship. So last season, the Lakers had like a middle of the pack regular season, made some trades at the deadline, got their act together for the play-in, then made it to the playoffs from the play-in, and then made it to the NBA Finals. So that was a huge uh, storyline. Um, but yeah, this this one, the storylines are still cooking up, and I can fill you in on anything and everything. It does, I'm following it, so many teams. It does feel like the same rule applies that we were talking about earlier, where like the, the lore is really dense, and there's a lot of history to find, but you just have to enjoy the basics and the team you choose or the thing you're going to pursue and know that you will acclimatize to this other stuff. Yeah. Like doing a 101 course. Like. As I'm getting deeper, now there's interesting stuff where it's like you start to learn about like the trade assets that a team has and how, um, you know, like Oklahoma City Thunder is not only a good team uh, in the West this season. They're in the West, right? Even though Oklahoma's like yeah. in the middle of the... okay. Doesn't uh, make sense. <laughs> it's, yeah, the, 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 okay, so uh, so Oklahoma City, they're a really good team. They're a really young team. And they have an incredible amount of resources in the way of first-round picks in the draft. They've got tons of them. Well, yeah, what's the what's the contributing factor to that? Well, tr- so, so every team gets like a number, like gets the same amount of picks in the different rounds. Ra- like gets the same amount of picks in the draft, and then there's the different rounds of the draft. But those assets are tradable. So mm-hmm. when you're so a team like the Clippers, for example, uh, when and so this is like the, this is the stuff. So okay, Clippers are really good right now. Very uh, old team. A lot of like um, probably past their prime, but still incredibly good superstars who are like mostly from LA, all playing together in like kind of a last dancey. Like this is our last chance to like make a run and potentially win. Oh, all people who've never won a championship. Okay. But uh, have the capacity. Most, most people have never except won a championship for except for Kawhi. But they have the capacity too. And this is like, and they have legacy. the capacity too, cause they're like doing really well. And they've got uh Tyron Lue as a coach. Who's, who's uh, one of the best coaches in the league and also really good at managing like big superstar personalities. Um, and then you've got a team like Oklahoma city, these teams, both in the West where, um, they're really young. Uh, they got, a, they were pretty bad post Kevin Durant, Russell Westbrook, like uh, James Harden, all leaving all players that are still in the league today, Russell Westbrook and, uh, James Harden together again on the Clippers. Um, and another way that these two teams are connected, I'm just trying to give you a, a storyline of two teams that are doing really well that uh, have like a deeper connection. So uh, Paul George, so Kawhi Leonard won the 2019 NBA championship with the Toronto Raptors, brought the chip to Toronto, was kind of a hired gun, hired yeah. for one season, won the championship, left. He's Legend, from, dude. He's from L.A., so he wanted to go back to LA. Love him and leave him. Ended up signing with the Clippers in a huge deal. But Which was a huge upset because everyone thought he was coming to the Lakers to play with LeBron. Exactly. And that would have been 
actually cuckoo bananas insane. Yeah. Um, but then uh, he goes to the Clippers, but he says, hey, if I'm coming to the Clippers, you've got to get my boy Paul George. And uh, they Paul George at the time was in Oklahoma City. Yeah. Uh, yes. Yeah, because... Because uh, Google if Oklahoma is a state. So so Paul George Paul George came up in Indiana. So Indiana is relevant. Um, uh, was a great player in for the Pacers. Uh, kind of built his superstar status there, but never really had a lot of postseason success because he was competing with LeBron, and LeBron kind of owned that era. And uh, he ended up getting traded to. There was also an almost trade to the Cavs that Paul George had. I found out about it on his podcast. But um, so he's in Oklahoma City. Uh, Clippers trade basically all of their first round picks in this Paul George trade. Oh, what? so like, so what? like as like a, as an incentive, like not an incentive, but like as in as in they don't have the active players on their roster that they're going to trade. Like the the resources that you can use to trade are like active players, cash, and oh, you can use cash. You can okay, use yeah. cash yeah. to an extent. And uh, and draft picks, and so it's like uh, trading cash, but also stock options. Yeah, and so like uh, so for so the Clipper, I don't know the full details on this, but essentially the Clippers have essentially no draft resources, mm -hmm. so they've really just got what they've got because they have like they may be past their prime, but they're four like star players essentially. Um, but then no future outlook for like the new people they're bringing into the draft because they don't have any promising draft picks. Whereas Oklahoma City has like a treasure trove of high draft picks or first round draft picks. So they're resource rich and they're already good. So that means that like based on whatever happens in this season, uh, in the off season, they could sign another star. They could do whatever they need to like fill to use those resources to like sort of better themselves for, you know, dec uh, a decade to come because all of their team is like s extremely young. I kind of don't understand Oklahoma City's front office's game plan, though, because they keep doing this thing where they'll sort of get they'll draft a great player, they'll raise them up and then they'll trade them. And they and they've done this over the past like five years or something to the point where there people joke that the the 2028 draft is going to be like all Oklahoma City, that they're just going to get every single player and, in the draft. And part of the reason that they trade is for salary reasons, yeah. because the way that the um, the way that the salary rules work in the NBA, I can't fully explain it, but essentially the way they've worked contract wise his like recently is that it's really hard to keep your homegrown talent because once they get to a certain point it becomes more and more expensive to keep them because they're out of there if you develop a player they're on like their rookie contract or something like that uh, and once that once they're up for a uh their a new contract and they're a star player, they can command a lot of money from other teams around the league. And so then if you want to keep them, you have to match that offer. And and it's hard to match that offer for like every one of those okay. homegrown players. It's like a Best Buy hack kind of thing. <laughs> yeah. And so what happened, this is what happened with um, James Harden. So James Harden was like an off the bench six man. Was he a six man of the year? I, May have been. Probably at some point. he. Well, because for Oklahoma City, he was off the bench. And then they knew he was really good, but they had so much star power and they ended up trading him because of salary reasons because yeah. he wanted more money than they were willing to give him. And he was still pretty young. And he was still pretty young. Then he goes to the Rockets and instantly becomes a superstar, like instantly becomes a 25 point per game scorer uh, because he was already that player, but he just wasn't getting the playing time because he was competing with Kevin Durant and Russell Westbrook, who were in their primes. Uh, and that team, if they had stayed together, because they made the NBA Finals really young. Yeah, that that was like a really um, the that that playoffs uh, was one that made people hate the Warriors because um, without getting into too much detail, essentially the Warriors knocked them out of contention for. Um, they knocked them out of the playoffs. Yeah. And then that was in 2015. Warriors won uh, the championship that year. And everyone 
felt like the Warriors played dirty. There's this one um, guy who's no longer on the team uh, whose name I can't remember for some reason. Zaza Pachulia. Zaza Pachulia. He, Dude, how did you forget a name <laughs> like that, bro? Hey. He, um... I feel like if I had guessed, I might have got it. <laughs> That's like as likely as any D&D name I would come up with. He Please are really- Magal. He, he, that is a D&D name, actually. He does that. Um, yeah, he's a half-elf. <laughs> but, um, yeah, he played really dirty, and people were really upset about it, and were like, you are you hurt our players. How do Wait, you... Wait, no, c- sorry. I'm actually thinking of Kawhi with the Spurs. Oh, but, yeah. But, but it doesn't matter, because... After they lost... Really, yeah. People were really mad at the Warriors for knocking... They, like, they got a lot of hate because people loved that Oklahoma city team. Mm-hmm. And then after that, yeah, Oklahoma- they were like America's team. Cause they were super young. They were super good. And then they broke them up essentially by trading well, Russell Westbrook. Yeah. Or, excuse me. By trading James Harden. And then, uh, and then Kevin Durant left to go to the warriors. Yeah. And that's also what made him. He left after they snake. knocked him out in 27, like later, later. Time, it was yeah. a later time. But, um, how do you, what's your uh, method of keeping up with the NBA news? Um, you just I go to every in game? a group chat. There's Respect. also Twitter. I have a Twitter list. Twitter's definitely, I, I just don't go on Twitter anymore. Valid. But it's you really from my friends. I'm, I have a basketball group chat that I'm in that um, we post news. Um, do you ever think about restarting the old pod? Oh, sorry. I just remember so it's a bug. <laughs> um, I, well, my co-host didn't want to do it anymore, so no. Well, what about it's just, just Staz, baby? Just Staz. It's just, that's it's, that's what it's called. Podcast. It's called Staz Money Moment. It's called Staz Kitball. Staz Kitball. <laughs> Come on. Uh, I just okay. There's a new channel that actually is incredible. It does weekly summaries of all of the games that happened that week in the oh, storylines. Wait, go, go. Uh, and they're actually starting to blow up. It's kind of crazy. I, I watched their first video when they had like 14,000 subscribers and now their most recent videos are getting 1 million views per video. It's oh crazy. Uh, type in goat NBA. Yeah. Oh, so yeah, they're I'm like gonna, this. Goat, goat, goatology. Goatology. And, and so it's like, uh, if you go to videos, like the new, like the newest ones. So like, if you just click the NBA, just delivered a comedy classic. So it's like a 26 minute video. But then it, here's how that is it, how ridiculously it bad. No, it, it really is. The NBA just delivered a comedy classic from players brawling to sneaky assassination attempts at the refs. This past week was a wildly fun mm. week in the NBA. I hope you brought snacks because the party starts now. So basically, this just goes through all the big games and the developments of the week. And I've been watching. And then, and then at the end, go to, go to the end of this video. Can't the very be end, subbed. Uh, maybe like the last 20 seconds. Uh, this guy's it has the cringiest outro, but it's it's sweet. If you end up enjoying this video, please subscribe. It's free and you can always change your mind. Anyways, wherever you are in the world, be the goat of that moment. <laughs> Stay goated. Oh, that's so <laughs> sick. We should close this episode with that. <laughs> Stay goated. goated. Wherever you are in the world. Um, I do have to say, Jordan, like my favorite way of getting it, well, like how I got into the NBA is kind of just by picking a player or a couple players and just like really following that player and yeah. what they're doing. Josh Hart is a great example because he he was a very young guy on the Lakers and he's just like a kind of a silly billy. And there there's compilations of him going to high five someone and them leaving him hanging and him like sadly <laughs> high fiving himself. <laughs> Um, there's, there's players who are really into anime. There's people who've done like, um, who's the guy on the Orlando magic who has the Pokemon shoes. Oh yeah. Um, um, who is it? I can't, it's not, I can't it's remember. Not, yeah. Orlando magic Pokemon shoes. There's also guys who like Cole Anthony. Who yeah. Stream, uh, who, you know, are, are, have a bigger presence on like social media and stuff. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, like for me, Ooh, sick. Um, I I feel like I follow one of the most hated teams in the NBA because we were following them before they were, you know, before they had their first championship, which is the Warriors, uh, um, Golden State Warriors. 
And so that's the, you know, the hometown team back in, you know, San Francisco. And it was great when, you know, before 2015, when they won their first championship, you could go to games for so cheap and it was so fun to watch them. And like, they were just like this young upstart team and they had never won a championship and had years and years and years of being like the worst team in the league. Yeah. And then you get Steph Curry join the team and it's like, oh my God, this is so exciting. He's so good. And then Clay was drafted. And it was like, this is awesome. And then they won in 2015 and then Kevin Durant joins them uh, in 2017 after they lost to the Cavs. And everyone is like, we hate them. They're they were the basically worst. in like six of the last eight NBA finals or something like that, where yeah. like they were just like became like the the B dynasty of the NBA because they were just always in the conversation. But now And that's where people don't like them. Yeah, because people are just like, Oh, if they're dominating. Okay. And then also Any dynasty Ke- gets hate. It doesn't okay. matter. And then and then also I guess Kevin, with because show. because part of it is because of fair weather fans and like do they get all these new fans that are annoying mm-hmm. that are like, Oh my Guys better than your guy, and they just are insufferable. Imagine the the worst, richest tech bro who is now also a fan of the Warriors, and he's got like and a Steph Curry jersey on. Too. Oh hell yeah! Yeah, and dude. it's like he's got a Steph Curry jersey on. And it's like Talking I like about, Steph Curry too, but you're annoying me. Yeah. yeah. He's talking about how like uh, the ideology of jujitsu was <laughs> like then, actually, if you eat ox meat, it makes your dick so cool. Yeah, and then um, and then. So the Warriors right now are bad, but like there's still hope. And I think that's a fun storyline for me to follow because, uh, you know, they have probably the best case scenario can make it to the play in and then turn it back on. But they didn't make any the NBA deadline uh, trade deadline just happened. And all these teams were like shuffling to move players around because now there's everyone's locked in and all they can do is like uh, free agent signings and like um, buyouts and stuff. Um, and so the Warriors didn't make any moves in the deadline. And it's like, okay, what's what's going to happen here? And they know that, you know, Steph Curry is still playing incredible. I mean, they Steph Curry just put up a 60-point game uh, against the Rockets? Where It was a loss. It was like, who is that against? I don't remember. But, like, he put up a 60-point game and a loss. And then everybody's like, they're wasting Steph Curry's talent because he's 35 turning 36 he's still incredibly good it's like a lebron James situation. i always think of steph curry so young yeah he, he looks, looks young. so young. i mean yeah he looks fantastic and i guess when he was rising to prominence yeah was, he's always looked like eight years aware. younger than he is when he was in college he looked like a 12 year old <laughs> but yeah it's like clay thompson who was like steph curry's number two guy and one of the best shooters ever also has been having a terrible year and he's like talking about you know, adopting a more limited role on the team potentially. And that's like, he's got to swallow his pride. Cause he's just like, not, he's like been zapped with like the, the, he's lost his juice a little bit. But he also like had essentially like a career ending injury that didn't end his career uh, a few years back and still played well and after still is it. playing like, okay. After that crazy, he injury. had a few, he had good seasons after it, but for whatever reason, this season, like his shots just off yeah. and he like used to be a much better defender. And then there's, um, there's, uh, the young guys on the team. Well, so there's Draymond green, who's like one of the most hated players in the, in the league, but he's even by Warriors by, fans, just cause he's even by Warriors fans. Cause he's like has antics or he like actually like has hit players on the, on the court and stuff. And it's like, yo, what are you doing? Uh, he also punched one of his teammates and it ruined a season because of like morale was bad. Like he's known for like sticking his fingers in people's eyes on purpose. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but he's like badass, dude. He's, <laughs> he's kind of like a, you know, he's good on the team <laughs> and he's got a lot of, chem- he's got like 12 years of chemistry with like Steph Curry as like the Warriors number five. So he's like kind of a necessary thing, but he got suspended for 16 games, 20 games for kind of like doing this like windmill hit on use of Nurkic. Like he was like turning, he was like his jersey was being pulled and he was like whipped his hand around and like hit him. It was bad. Um, Sounds like he was pretty cool. Yeah. None of <laughs> says what uh, martial arts is wrong now. Yeah. So he's, but he's back and he's playing well. Um, but then, uh, but then the big the big story is that there's a 21 year old player who's in his third year in the league and is starting to break out fully. Jonathan Kaminga, so he like 
earlier in the season, everybody was like, we need to play him more. Every time he plays, he's, he's doing well. And then uh, the Warriors started when Draymond got suspended and they started to fiddle around with lineups. A lot more rookies got play. And also Kaminga started getting major minutes. So now Kaminga is basically the number two on the Warriors. And he has a completely different game than someone like someone like Clay, because instead of being like an outside shooter or like a catch and shoot guy, um, he's driving to the rim. He's like just dunking the ball. He's like extremely athletic. Um, he's from uh, he's Congolese. So the Philadelphia 76ers um, who have the had the leading MVP uh, candidate on their team it was recently injured but one of the younger players on the team recently became like has sort of taken the superstar jump or at least the the star jump um tyrese maxi and so this is like him meeting a fan uh and, it's, and he's he seems super sweet uh and this is a super sweet interaction All right, very cute and wholesome. Now, Sixers posted this. Who's cutting onions? So, ju- just to clarify, though, the fans crying. The fans yeah. crying, and he because like, he's emotional. Kind of comforts him, and he comforts yeah. him, and, and it's a sweet moment. And people's reactions are very, I'm sure, reasonable. And uh... <sighs> this is where we get into like this like hyper masculinity that is in sports circles a lot. I get it, but I ain't having my son crying over another man. Women do better. Ple- Women do better. That's yeah, crazy. It's, it's time, That's why the uh, Boeing plane had such an issue is because it's too diverse. The, right. Exactly. Yeah. P- please surround our young black men with healthy choices from family to communities. It sounds like he's surrounded by healthy, like he's experiencing his emotions. He's not bottling them up. There's nothing wrong with. And like, like, why is? I mean, are they just operating on like? Can man, you view if more? Can you? Oh, wait, how do we? Can you if scroll a down? Strong dad was around then. Couldn't be my son. What are you out here crying? No, I'd be the ones crying like this that can't control their emotions. There's a difference between control, controlling your emotions is such a suppressing them. dark, dark type of phrasing. I feel like control usually means don't show it to me. I mean, it's 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 like a, a, this really miserable self fulfilling prophecy, right? Where it's like if you can't control your emotions, then you'll cry in public, and you're like, right. And what's the bad thing that happens at the end of that? It's like yeah. you look like a pussy. And then like, and what is the thing that like, why are we doing this dance? What's yeah. it for? And the truth is that it's like, it's deliberately obscure so that we obey that kind of behavior and don't think too critically about it. I'm like, this guy's going to like, like Maxie's young. Like Maxie's probably going to be in the league another 10 years, you know, uh, in some capacity probably. And this kid's going to get to like, have that experience as he goes through his, uh, you know, formative years of his life. And I think that's so special. Yeah, and and honestly, it's overwhelming when you're a huge fan of someone and then you meet them and like... But yeah, it's a different kind of crying. Yeah. Even the kind that if you, for whatever reason, are willing to subscribe to traditional performance of masculinity, which you're really just doing for the for the boys, but you know, you can say some kind of like objective bravery or whatever. Yeah, very brave to not do something. <laughs> uh, it's just something else. This is like... Uh, Getting angry in defense of the people you care about versus getting angry from road rage. It's they're both angry, but one is pathetic and like having a lack of patience and self awareness, and the other is like has something productive to it, right? But yelling at somebody on the road doesn't mean anything, and crying from being overwhelmed is like. I don't know what what if what if he was crying and like saluting the flag or something like if it yeah. was patriotic enough <laughs> yeah. or like he was watching uh like a presidential speech is he allowed to then get over emotional or intent if you all those clips are like people crying while they storm the capitol people are like that was a patriot and he's like holding up his little brother so he can see I'm like yeah, it's dude. just so sweet I feel it's like so there's sweet. this is like so what it's all about and the fact that people are like trying to find an issue with it is like annoying. It's just gambler's fallacy, man. It's like if you spend your whole yeah. life not like, or it, 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 I mean, don't get me wrong. These people do cry and they are like emotionally fraught because that who else would leave comments like this? But it's living with that kind of insecurity and performing this kind of bullshit for 20, 30, 40 years, whatever. 
you cannot go back and say, God, I wasted 40 years pretending that I was okay. Mm -hmm. You just have to keep it going to the grave. Like people just don't want to look back on, they don't want to grow and change because then you have to accept that you're never done. Yeah. You're never ready. It's just like, this made me smile. Okay, great. From yeah. Sinistar 22. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. I mean, but anyway, this was, this was sweet. And I just think Maxie's a cool dude. Um, he's, cute. he's super positive. He's always got a smile on his face. Um, okay. So I, I wanted to revisit uh, a trend that I know is familiar to you and, and well loved by you. <laughs> I think, trendy guy, what can I uh, say? Uh, which is the soulmate trend on TikTok. Uh, can I just say I recognize a name? Yeah, this this creator is the creator we've talked about before. This creator is the lifeblood of, of my channel, too. Yeah. The, the two, this is the soulmate some trend. Some of the only good videos about it. And I mean, this is it is Valentine's Day today. It's Brianna. Recording this. Brianna, welcome back to the Sad Boy Channel. It's been a year-ish. When did we, when did we Eight meet? Eight months ago? Yeah, hell yeah. Okay, class, it's time to complete the assignment in front of you. You may work in small groups. Brittany! Brittany! Ah, what is it? I was sleeping! My soulmate is in this classroom! No way! Cover your ear and listen closely. See if you can find any hints where he might be. Good uh, idea. Why would covering your ear give you hints? <laughs> That's true. I, I mean, is she just hearing it all the time, but she needs to, like, isolate? Yeah. Is it telepathic ear? Is that what's happening? Right, what is soulmate's ear? I, I know, they're treating it like... <laughs> culturally established language you know soulmate's, soulmate's ear. ear yeah i hear our gum rapper the ear is telling her who her soulmate <laughs> oh, right it's like a devil on her shoulder it's like, it's like lassie a, 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 a <laughs> what's that boy <laughs> okay there's a soulmate in the room <laughs> she's just hearing voices i should kill everyone in the world you said no no oh, well if i if if that means i find my soulmate that's true what if i was a killer B. good idea i hear a gum wrapper no no it's paper movie well any idea who it might be? this makes it look like she's like on a corporate like she's <laughs> yeah, like dude, she's think... got her like a uh, bluetooth the eagle has landed <laughs> the, the eagle has landed and there's a gum wrapper my boyfriend is under the building also how big is this class Look for a guy moving around. Yeah, why are they? Why could Brittany not hear her when she first <laughs> yelled, "Brittany, Brittany!" <laughs> Ooh, ah, ah, ah. Yeah, look, look for the uh, the guy in the class that's going. Oh, Jesus, yeah. <laughs> someone's yelling. Stopped. Oh look God! Happy. He's ja their foot is my someone's jacking off. <laughs> I have to find the person in this room. No, it's not a foot. No, it's not a foot tap. I'm looking for my gooning, my gooning soulmate. Oh, come on. Why'd you stop tapping your foot? Brianna, don't disrupt my class again. Sorry, sir. Sorry. Sorry. Canadian. <laughs> what is this, dude? That's like, uh, you, you you know, you think um, you're talking to somebody normal. And yeah. then you find out with one simple word. You think you Canadian. know someone these days, huh? Just kidding. And then all of a sudden they're like, ooh, hey guys, it's me, Curtis. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I got a little bit of oh, sorry, for you. guys. Yeah. Sorry, guys. Did I make a commentary video? So sorry. I'm going to go up here and talk to a little bit of stand up. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> sorry, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> we, uh, the soulmate's ear is just a soundboard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, it's a, it's a soundboard of a, a bunch of esoteric sounds. Heavily compressed MP3 soundboard yeah, effects smack. in mono. <laughs> I'm sorry. Watch where you're going, Brittany. Brittany, Brianna, wait. I don't know if you know me, but I don't know you. <laughs> I can't find Oops, her. Back. <laughs> that was your soulmate. Yeah, I mean. Don't worry. Wait, is she here in Brianna's? Brianna, wait. I don't know if you know me, but I don't know. This moves at such a breakneck pace. I know. I feel like we spent most of this past minute, most of this TikTok, in the classroom listening to sounds, and we actually meet the soulmate for two seconds. Immediately And then in we person. flash back to that two seconds, four seconds later. Yeah, dude, this is it's some uh, Dragon Ball pacing on that yeah. one. Like, we move really quick through something, and then we get to the fight. It was like... Gogo, I think he's vulnerable at this state. Five then, minutes. <laughs> like, then he has a conversation. He was like, oh, I think he's vulnerable in that state. 
flashing back Goku I think he's vulnerable <laughs> but it's like sepia so you yeah, know yeah yeah it's like oh this happened in the past oh, clearly yeah, I remember when I was over there yeah they did just put a like a dream a dreamscape like <laughs> yeah. backdrop behind it he was my soulmate he still is I would imagine yeah and now you forced him to transfer schools because you said stop talking to me there is something weird I, I there's just something fascinating to me that it is it for obvious reasons, for demographic reasons, if nothing else, it's always in, it's often in school. Like mm-hmm. kind of you know the yeah, because it's the, the most relatable place for the to audience. the people, and and in some respect, everyone. And it's also like you know it's a time when people are maybe seeking a soulmate, and also like a little maybe innocent about some topics, and also it's like YA novel ideas mm-hmm. a lot of the time. Mm-hmm. It's weird how many things are going on at a day at school where you've got to be places <laughs> to school you you gotta you know go to the classes or whatever maybe it's a one-room schoolhouse yeah <laughs> i guess it's huge because you couldn't find a soulmate yeah. while he was Brittany! jacking off or whatever. <laughs> who's, who's tapping the, hold on let me cover my ear so i can hear someone is not making my soulmate doesn't seem to be making any noise <laughs> so if i can find the person that's completely quiet <laughs> Yeah, if I can find someone who, uh, I'm insane, by the way, if I can find the person I'm thinking of, let's say part three. Yeah, there's so many of these specific ones. I love Brandon. A lot of people thought it was a teacher. I wonder why. Well, maybe it's because it's called Soulmates Here and the first person to speak was the teacher. And they sound the same. (laughs) And it's all the same person's voice. They should do the voice that, I mean, the pretty was great. That's my soulmate. Pay attention. It's me. It's me, Jaifa Jaifa. This one kind of explains more of the lore. Oh, good. Yeah, this is a this is a explained ending. Okay. Explained video. Oh, because this is now you're age seven. So before you were age seventeen. The, speaking of breakneck breakneck pace, a lot of the time it is from birth. <laughs> a lot of these yeah. videos are from. It's like, very much like it feel. I guess this is a young adult trope, but it's very much like Harry Potter. It's like at this very <laughs> young age, you are fate. <laughs> yeah, fate has called you to this this unique ability. There's unique... usually some weird tragedy, and it's always then followed up by a classmate being like, "Hey, did you know you could do this?" Yeah, <laughs> you're like, "Oh, yeah." I you're forgot. a wi- you're a soulmate here in a world where Britney. everyone has a soulmate here. Ten years after I got it, someone reminded me <laughs> to put my finger over it. <laughs> I do just want an edit of the soulmate here where it's just a bunch of random. It's like a jackhammer. <laughs> okay, it must be a construction site. <laughs> What's that? No, he's listening to Dave Chappelle's stand-up special. Mm, What's up with gender? <laughs> nope, nope, I don't like that. <laughs> oh, wait, That's my on. soulmate? <laughs> really? <laughs> I don't really? Let me try the other ear. Oh, I love Joe Rogan. Oh, no. <laughs> really connected with good point about those guys. <laughs> we both know who I'm talking about. Oh, yeah. Oh, my racist soulmate. I'm so sleepy. Mama, may I have cookies? <laughs> so pause, pause, pause. Soulmate of two years old. <laughs> Mama. <laughs> Mama, may Mama. I have cookie? Britney. Bri- I'm so sleepy. Mama. <laughs> oh, man, that's crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> the cookie monster? I, yeah, he's really young. He's really young, Cookie Monster. Her soulmate. Please. I like that it's like a pause on pause. Yeah, like, It's not like a constant stream. <laughs> it's like when you put it on, you hear more of it. They listen to a, a conch shell here in the ocean. <laughs> Mama. <laughs> Mama. Can I have cookie? When the mother answering? It's Mama. like a Pokemon. Just come. <laughs> Mama. Okay. Mama. <laughs> just obsessed with cookie. that. It comes in so processed. Like, I don't even know how they created that voice. I know, it's kind of cool. Yeah, wait, also, one more time. Can we do it one more time for oh, fucking measure? Dude, it's going to hurt me. I'm so sleepy. Mama. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, dude. It's so, it's so, it's so intense. Oh, so you got to warn it. That's the other trope of all of these is they always, there's like a universal thing. 
and they it's like uh, uh if you you have a seven year old pigeon they're like you got wings by the way <laughs> you got oh soulmates here i should have fucking i completely forgot to mention you'll hear voices Oh, Why do I hear slow. someone talking in my ear? That's because you have one of your soulmate's ears. You have your soulmate's right ear, and they have your left ear. So whenever you cover your left ear, you can hear whatever your soulmate's hearing wait, in that moment. Wait, wait what, you, what you, determines the left? You you and your soulmate have swapped ears. What are the rules as far as all... Is it heteronormative and the girl has the right ear and the boy has... I, I mean, I don't know that much. Is it because uh, girls I are do always think right? Ears are, ears are pretty important in balance, you know? Like inner ear. <laughs> yeah, dude. And so it's like... You have to find your soulmate for your equilibrium. <laughs> yeah, like literally, that's going to be a problem. You do you switch ears back? Oh, oh, like... <laughs> yeah. Also, we don't even have to get into it, but like I, I'm just gonna assume it's like the inner ear and not like the external ear oh, it's because like it's got it. And otherwise, there's no way they're different race. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's exactly what I'm saying. Yeah. Well, I mean, I guess they could not be the same. Eight, seven year olds don't say. Seven year olds don't say. Mama. <laughs> it also is funny because um, you know when you hit play on like audio and you hear the like white noise the room tone sure, of that yeah. room that's kind of what i hear like i'm the <laughs> <laughs> oh you know i guess i don't know what they're recording it with in his ear right the chip it sounds like a tickle me elmo gone rogue <laughs> yeah they pull it on the back yeah they only ask super stuff tickle me can i have cookie <laughs> i'm stitch and i want family and cookie my mama, I can't mama. die, but I can feel pain. Mama, mama. I don't like this toy. Mama. <laughs> Sorry, I'm... This is gonna... Someone's gonna hate this. <laughs> Everyone probably is gonna hate this. So you're saying my soulmate can hear everything that I hear? Yeah. Off to school right <laughs> Was it Ariana Grande? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> wait, yeah. wait. Can hear everything I hear? Because that's you're not... you're touching the ear. But that's not what she was... That was everything he was saying. Unless yeah. he's a mother and that was a little kid. That... Well, you know how you can hear yourself inside of your own head. Right. Maybe that's what it is. I, but yeah, but you didn't hear the mother going like, why do you sound like that? Stop it. Yeah. You're scaring me. Yeah, why are you an infant? You're <laughs> they then could just talk to each other like walkie talkies. Yeah, why well, does just go like, hey, are you crinkling paper? Are you jacking off? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, like, also, this this lightly implies that your soulmate's the same age as you. Hopefully. I mean, this scenario. Yeah, but like, the mama doesn't inspire confidence. Uh, why? I wonder what my soulmate's up to. <laughs> What's your soulmate up to this morning? <laughs> that is the first Jacob search fart SFX and yeah. see if it is the first one. <laughs> that is such We've a done classic. This before, yeah. It's gotta be uh, the gaming sound effect. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's a that more one, classic. That that's one. a good one, though, I will say. No, no, go on YouTube and search fart sound effect. I kind of think it's the reverb fart. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is that? <laughs> Can you hit, wait. Oh, do the recommended dry. <laughs> oh, this is nasty, dude. <laughs> that would have been so much better. <laughs> She's blown back by it. These that, are I, so bad. That was I, it, right? I don't think that was it. No, I don't think it's. What? <laughs> <laughs> what? Go back. It started with the THX. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> okay, okay, wait. Can we just? I don't want to watch this video. Can you scroll up? All f wait, scroll down a little bit. All fart sounds: wet, dry, quick, brown, bra 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 <laughs> quick, occur. TikTok wet fat fart sound effect. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, that oh, was. that's it. What that was one exactly fart right. effect people have been searching for. Mm. Play. That wait, had to have been. that actually might have been it. Everyone That's an insane searching. title. Wait. We have been <laughs> searching. I wonder what my soulmate's up to. Yeah! Yep. They We're titled so it the that one <laughs> fart sound effect people have been searching Hi, for. Hi, Jarvis and Jordan. <laughs> yeah, what? it's me from the future. Go ahead, hit that download link. <laughs> Go ahead, pull that. Pull what? That download link. Make it your text home. That is, that is 
It's strange. That's cool, dude. Wow. Easy. What's your soulmate? <laughs> yeah, why have we been searching dude. for that one? What, how many patrons are going to show? the show up? <laughs> That's who this morning. Bree, I just heard my soulmate talking to his girlfriend. That is so messed up. Why wouldn't he wait for you? What about you? What's your soulmate been up to today? Let's see. Give me your lunch money. Oh, wait. I was really hoping he was still funny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Where in class is he? He's doing this, the cinematic one. <laughs> <laughs> Reptile. <laughs> also, hold on. Give me your lunch money, kid. Yeah, he's, probably... he's like he's 17 years old. Yeah, he's, well, yeah, he's cool. What we think. Give me your lunch money, kid. No, no, please. Don't take my lunch money. <laughs> Loser. I hear Jake's voice. He's stealing someone's lunch money. Maybe my soulmate's Jake. Or it could be the guy he's stealing the lunch money from. I think, honestly, compelling, compelling. Well, I, I will say, though, because I watch a lot of these, that often the follow-up one is not the follow-up to it. Right, they don't actually continue. It's it. like, may, oh, maybe he's the bully. And then and you then, never get the resolution on it. like, hey, I found my soulmate. He doesn't fight at all. All the comments of Mama May I have cookie. <laughs> Please, can I cookie? Can I cookie? What are you doing here? My soulmate's in this classroom. But I gotta go. It is way too hot in here. Ah. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's finally cooling down. It's so nice and cool over here, bestie. Says you, I've been freezing all morning. <laughs> 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 what sound do you make when you're cold? Burr. Burr. I'm cold. <laughs> so, did you find your soulmate? No, I found out which classroom my soulmate's in, but I couldn't get close. I started overheating. How am I supposed to find my soulmate if it gets unbearably hot every time we get close? Oh, I think you just don't date them. The... Yeah, I think that is a... that It sounds like you can't. Who's saying that's your soulmate? It sounds like maybe, <laughs> it sounds like maybe just an enemy. It sounds like it's a heater. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah. I found my soulmate. It's it, in my room in the gets corner. It's unbearably hot when I get close. <laughs> He's always crackling. <laughs> He's oh, I want to get close to you, but I, oh, I'm just so hot. Oh, dude, my mom was cooking a meal, and every time I go near the oven, my soulmate is there, I guess. Is she playing a moth? Oh. <laughs> I am in love with that. He's he's fabric. <laughs> I'm in love with this coat. There's just like a light outside of a <laughs> door. That I have she's... to go to you, <laughs> but it is so hot. Only at first. You two need to introduce yourselves to each other. Once you introduce yourselves to each other, the temperature will become perfect. Okay. Why does no one tell me these things? That Great is question. a really good question. Really. It's it, other students. It seems like everyone else knows all of the rules. I know. It's actually, it, it is like exposition from uh, like a bad sci-fi movie. Yeah. Well, it's just like, wait, <laughs> what are we doing here again? He's like, well, we, we live in a society where we have this Hunger Games thing. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. It's like you're about to, you're like sitting at the fishing spot in the video game and you go, how do I do it? And he's like, <laughs> yeah. have you tried pressing B? <laughs> oh, this is going to sound insane. How do I work at my farm <laughs> how do i do farming at my farm I that i've, like had I've just been time? dropped into my farm <laughs> that everything has been set up for me and i just don't know how to operate i've got all my overalls how do i romance this neighbor <laughs> <laughs> allow me to provide an overlay that explains the various mechanics what are those uh like like in metal gear or the older metal gears or whatever where it's like raiden if you use r2 you'll be able to shoot <laughs> and look across the wall Remember to lock in with R2. <laughs> don't remember. Don't forget, you'll be dropped in with no weapons, but your inventory is available with L2. <laughs> don't forget to hide under a box. <laughs> like the game. <laughs> remember the game? Snake did that in one of them. And bunch, oh, all of them, actually. Actually, yeah, it's kind of a whole thing. Oh, sorry, I'm drunk. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Otacon out. <laughs> yeah, be, I got somewhere to be, man. Hear it drop. <laughs> Otacon, is that you? My Mama. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, wrong channel. Yeah, I, th I think you're my soulmate. <laughs> it's getting hotter in here. <laughs> I'm boiling hot. So hot. It's Ooh. getting so cold all of a sudden. Is your soulmate still breathing? If he's not alive, you'll freeze to death. <laughs> in this universe, kick. What is? Uh, was it? She oh. slapped him with her foot. Wait, go back to that sound effect. Where did he die? The heat? 
Stop breathing. If he's not alive, you'll freeze to death. Wake up! Oh. Hurry, hurry. <laughs> <laughs> you did the, the clip after the out. Oh, ow. Uh, Wait, can, like, listen to that. Wake up! Oh. Hurry, hurry. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Out. <laughs> <laughs> um, wait. So, so she introduced him. She introduced herself to him, and then he died. spontaneously died. From, was it in the heat? They said the temperature would get perfect once they introduced themselves, but <sighs> I meant they die and then you freeze to death. Right. So I mix it. Why does nobody tell me this? And so then you have, you have to kick him to wake him up, <laughs> like a car that won't start. <laughs> ow! And the car goes ow. Introduce yourself to your soulmate. Oh, cool. Okay. Maybe he kills we'll find him again. out in the next part. We, it we won't. Because <laughs> it'll, it, it'll be just like a new premise again. Oh, it's part three. Yeah, this was part two, and this is this is part three. Okay, I'm excited. This, it always seems, yeah, it's always Wait. like part two. What could that, what could part one possibly be? That was like it. <laughs> right. part, part two is where she found well, out what it was. They have to optimize for the, for the, oh, this actually continues. But they have to optimize for the algorithm. Yeah. Because. But also, she deleted part one. That's... I couldn't find it. That's so I don't know wild. why, but yeah. It's racist. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whenever you're near your black soul, mate. Yeah, like, okay. <laughs> Seems unnecessary. Hi, my name is Brianna. Hello? Hello? I'm still freezing. That's because he also needs to introduce himself to you. Kick he's him again. Breathing? He's breathing, but he's not responding. He Call an ambulance. To the hospital. Now. Yeah. Whoa. Well, doctor, is my soulmate going to be okay? It's not looking good right now. <laughs> It appears he's had a heart attack. He had a heart It wasn't even the heat. He was so surprised. It appears by he's. A... It sounds. I, she's not a child, but for some reason it sounds like a kid impersonating an adult. Yeah, two kids in a lab coat being yeah, yeah. a doctor. I'm your doctor. Also, I don't think uh, doctors generally are that like kind of laissez-faire. It's like, is he going to be okay? It's like, he's a fucking heart attack, isn't he? It's not looking good right now. I mean, look. Is he gonna have a, he's like shouting from the OR. Oh, that's like. What is it? Is it? Dead. It's they're dead, dead this time. How's my soulmate oh, looking? Oh, oh, oh. Sorry, only family and <laughs> only family is allowed. Is he supposed here. to be doing that? And he's just like clearly awake and he's fine. So he's on his Game Boy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> there's a machine that's keeping him alive. Tell her I had a heart attack. <laughs> She's too warm, dude. At what point do you think she grabbed that jacket on the way to the hospital? Oh well, yeah, she left him. I guess the... you've got to have it around if you're like you don't know where your soulmate's gonna be. She so went to, to a she went to a dress for less and less, left him on the ground while she was picking out a nice parka. It appears he's had a heart attack. <laughs> oh, no, he must have had a heart attack when he saw me because I'm so beautiful. Respect. No, he has a history. <laughs> <laughs> no, definitely not. We aren't sure what happened also, to him, but I can guarantee that's not it. <laughs> to be honest, huge swing to say to the doctor. Devastating. He must have had a heart attack because I'm so beautiful. No. <laughs> now, now bear in mind, I'm grieving, so maybe be nice to me. <laughs> No, he has a history of heart problems. <laughs> no, yuck. <laughs> he would never think that. <laughs> it's so mean. Ew, mid. Problems. Please wake up. I want to meet you. I have some unfortunate news. We believe this man may be brain dead. Holy shit. He won't be able to communicate and his organs will start to fail. No, doctor, if he goes, I'm going to freeze. Kind of we are 100% sure, but we're going to run some tests <laughs> to confirm it. Well, yeah, <laughs> you should definitely do some <laughs> tests. <laughs> <laughs> It's, I'm really starting. This doctor, by the way, is drunk. <laughs> <laughs> like, hey, it's like, oh, I'm not a doctor. Oh, no, sorry. I was just, I was wearing a white t shirt. No, sorry. Yeah. Uh, sometimes I get it. I like to role play. So he, I get really into it. This guy really feels like he's brain dead. Oh, he's asleep. <laughs> yeah. We're going to do some tests. Shake him. No, I. <laughs> uh, he's asleep. About, but yeah. No, we don't know for sure, but. To scare you, I will say that he has no chance of recovering. <laughs> I mean, no, we did do the test, and then you're busted. It was, wasn't because you were beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> it was the only thing we know for sure. Run some tests to confirm it. Please introduce yourself to me. I'm going to freeze. He's going to die. Hi, I'm Timmy. I love you. Doctor, doctor, he's responding. I'm Timmy. I'm I love Timmy. you. Is he still a baby? I'm Timmy. <laughs> Mama, I'm I love you. I'm dying. <laughs> <laughs> that's at least he did her gave her uh, in his dying wish normal temperatures. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that she was a... and then was just immediately. <laughs> he saw her again. She was too Hi, beautiful. Killed I'm him. Timmy. 
I love that. I love she the doctor. She extended her hand for the handshake. He's like IV'd up. He's probably like connected to so much shit. <laughs> She's pulling out all the machines. <laughs> She's like, shake hey, wake hand. up. Shake my hand. I'm going to freeze. What's your name, dude? He's definitely not brain dead then, right? <laughs> no, but then he's dead dead. Yeah. Ugh, rats. But then he regular. He full died. <laughs> that doctor yeah. was very raw. Yeah. Talk, he's, I'm, honest, I'm telling you, waste no no license. Completely Medical wasted. malpractice lawsuit yeah. incoming. <laughs> I love the idea of just introducing with what the condition could be. He could be brain dead. Soulmate sense of, taste. sense of taste. So this is Giselle. This is a different person. I, this sounds familiar. Yeah, yeah. yeah she's great she, too. They, I. Please don't. Oh, I love this girl. Her videos I... are significantly louder. <laughs> How does Jacob have a way of sending me when he says something so matter of fact? It's just true. It's yeah, just it's true. Wrecked. Yeah, <laughs> destroyed. destroyed they deleted the account. I, uh, I, I will say of all the TikTok trends that, that are fun to kind of riff on. Please do turn it down though. By the way, because <laughs> yeah, we will die. I, I, every joke I feel for these ones it totally comes from love I think that's so cool oh yeah I think it's really neat that these can exist and are like this really low lift it's just fun to play in their world it's just so bizarre it's like if uh every single idea you had for a movie released it just like came <laughs> yeah, out yeah. and you're like wow 99% of these are deranged <laughs> no it's it's just fun to play around it is like, cool who cares I mean she's uh, great as well I haven't seen as many of Giselle is it Giselle please don't be taste anything but taste Taste, really. Oh, so this makes thing sense. Has it out for me. She got to taste some. Uh... I do love that these all live in a universe where, like, the TikTok caption <laughs> system <laughs> can communicate yeah. with them. I know. The sorting hat from Harry Potter, but it's just text floating <laughs> backwards in front of you. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah what is it? East Etsat? <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Tis, sorry. Etsat. Etsat. Hmm. Well, no, oh, wait, I've, no, it's backwards. I have to go and Etsat this boy. Good morning, Mom. I made breakfast, hun. You want some? Sure, sounds great. I'll go so grab fast your plate. Response. <laughs> Wait, let's try that. Good morning, Mom. Hey, honey. Sure sounds you... great. I'll grab you a plate. Just give me one second, please. Thanks, Mom. I love you. Yeah, yeah but thanks. Yeah, I like you. Can I have cookies? <laughs> <laughs> that's not even it's not an age you know no I mean? it's not like it a, is a new creature <laughs> may I have bones and flesh can I have cookie may I have the bones of an English please <laughs> can I have a cookie Dobby wants a cookie <laughs> fee <Fee-fi. laughs> Is it? what is that uh, is that necklace say Giselle yeah that's hard that's, that's awesome <laughs> that's actually really cool what if I start wearing something like says Giselle I get a necklace that says Giselle. Yeah, I, I would think that you misspelled Gazelle. <laughs> I, I love Gazelles. <laughs> you love Gazelle. I want to remember what they, how to spell it. <laughs> yeah, with a J. Or it's Jordan plus Gazelle forever. <laughs> Giselle. And I have taste tattooed on my forehead backwards. Well, my forehead. Taste tusty. <laughs> what's, wait, what's bad? Taste is bad for a soulmate sense. Smell. So wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, really hold on, hold on, hold on. What the fuck is a soulmate sense? I think it's the way you find out if they are. Yeah, one, you have to right? taste things. Oh, unless she tastes whatever they're eating. This could be an ear. Oh, okay. I give it's a hornier option is the taste. Oh, okay, good, good, good. Is bro drinking straight up milk? <laughs> what a psycho. Well, I'm not ready for I'm not ready for her to talk like this, considering uh, the other the other character. Can someone was... go and get their mans? <laughs> yeah. Whose mans? <laughs> Um, Mandem drinking <laughs> milk? <laughs> this man just straight up <laughs> drinking milk are in. <laughs> Brothers sipping milk for real, for real. <laughs> fam, si go, fam sipping on that cow juice? <laughs> <laughs> that cow pack. Smoking on that cow pack. Smoking on that cow pack juice mode. Wait, what's sight? Is one of your eyes just, I would throw up. Is dude. bro looking at a cow right now? <laughs> <laughs> bro at a farm at this moment? Is bro straight up looking at milk? <laughs> 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 Which is what would happen if you were drinking milk. Yeah, I guess. You, you would, almost all of them. Am I listening to milk right now <laughs> yeah. being drank by bro? <laughs> by bro? <laughs> Bro drinking milk <laughs> right now. Bro Why is it such a judgmental tone? Dude, That's like not that crazy milk. of a thing to I be mean, having. Yeah, if he's having cereal. <laughs> yeah, bro drinking. <laughs> you're just like, <sighs> is bro drinking milk right now? Well, it is better. I mean, it is maybe still the worst one. The smell bad, though. Because you're almost always, I'd say more often when you are tasting something, it's intended to taste nice than the average smell in the world. Mm-hmm. Here you go, hun. Oh, no thanks, mom. Lost my appetite. Oh. 
because of no uh, I'm lactose intolerant. <laughs> How's your soulmate sense going? Not too bad, actually. He's eating pineapple on pizza? That's disgusting. It is very funny to go. Has this guy always eaten? The hell? Yeah, wait. Oh, this guy. Most of the time, I feel like, let's see, maybe a few hours ago, he might have had a snack. <laughs> Is the mad lad Breda be eating pizza right now? <laughs> Somebody come get your man them. <laughs> Go off, King? <laughs> Homie's eating Hawaiian style? <laughs> Ooh. I'm just going to eat it. Tastes like he's eating tuna. That's hungry. Really salty and expired tuna. She's, oh, this better this not motherfucker be. motherfucker a gourmet? <laughs> yeah. What is the, happening? The most defined palate of all time. Yeah, what is that? A, a Pinot Noir 1991? <laughs> 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 Interesting. Hmm. Tuna. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, fat fat content looks like about it's 30%. Uh, 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 calorific. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, Maybe. So, it's kind of cool. <laughs> it, and he's having a sushi, nigiri. Mm, lean mm. tuna. Okay, so his taste isn't too great. And <laughs> this, ooh, sweet fin. <laughs> ooh, blue fin. What is... This better not be... Mr. Bates? Can I please go to the washroom? It's an emergency. Go ahead. Not Canadian so far, that's good. It is funny that even in the context of this TikTok, she doesn't fully lose frame. She goes, Mr. Bates? Well, which camera are we going to look at? Mr. Bates, can I go to the restroom, please? <laughs> <laughs> like, watch this. I hope it's, it's farting again. Go to the washroom. It's an emergency. Go ahead. Meow. <laughs> <laughs> it's like left in the frame of her paws on the shoulder. She forgot where it was. Jessica, Caleb, what are you guys doing in the washroom together? She, she enunciates in a fun way. I I think she is not a native English speaker. Really? Oh. I've watched many of her TikToks because I just think they're so ridiculous and funny. <laughs> um, and she, she, like, has less of an accent now than she did in, when she first started. You can see how dangerous your soulmate is. Let's go from 1 to 10. Dangerous. Well, if they did that for us, it'd be 10. It'd be 11, even. Yeah. <laughs> well, me, if I would be a 12, actually. Oh, yeah, okay. It'd be 11. Then I might be a 13. I don't know any more ones. Do I have a weapon? Because if so... I've got a leather jacket and a speedy moped. <laughs> I've got like a really strong brother. I've got like a motorized scooter, but not like a lime scooter. Like in the city, I got bought my own. I have a truck. I don't have any fuel right now, but I've got work later and then I'm going to refuel and I'm going to hit you with a truck. But you're, yeah. yeah. And did I mention that my jacket is leather, but it's pleather. It's not, it's not real leather. Mine's real leather. I was looking at a cow. <laughs> is this guy is, wearing is a cow? Is bro tanning a hide right now? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, I'm almost just a farmer. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a weird criticism for him. Please be a good guy. Please be a good guy. My soulmate's Sorry. danger level is a three. When do you get? When do you get? Like, because this person's a fully developed human. Do they turn a certain age and then they like? It's like finding out what school you got into. Where yeah. you like go to a website and it's like. We're going to tell you your oh, soulmate's yeah, danger level. Her. We are pleased to inform you that your soulmate is not a serial killer. Yeah, that's awesome. I, usually, I mean, with uh, my friend Brianna, it's usually 17 is when it is like. Okay. At high, what is that? That's like second to last year? How High yeah, school's through 18, last right? Year, yeah. You could, I mean, some people graduate younger, but yeah. Uh, is the. Oh, but a lot of the time with Brianna ones, it's, you know, she's wearing pigtails. It's like, I'm seven. Mommy could cook you, cook you she mommy. she puts the age on the screen. She's, so she's, she's I would not be able to guess what, <laughs> mama, what age that was. This goes three. <laughs> Danger level. What's three out of ten? What do you think that is relative? Like ten? That's like a normal person. Ten like the is average like. average person does not have a high danger level. Ten's murder, right? Ten, ten's murderer. Tens, yeah. Seven, or is you're like, like a, you're like a, per, you're like one of those parkour people who, like, <laughs> jumps on the top of buildings. Dude, you're a Russian ready to die. Yeah, like yeah, one yeah. of those Polish guys that just uh, with a GoPro is doing spins on a three hundred right. story. That raises a good question. Dangerous to whom? Ooh, true. 
the are society. dangerous to yourself, to society. Because that to... free solo guy is dangerous to exactly. yourself. <laughs> yeah, to... Alex Arnold is a dad, I guess. To your, yeah, I'm dangerous to your sensibilities. I pop the collar of my leather coat. Yeah, it tears off. I shouldn't um, have made this myself. I uh, I kick off my scooter. I realize I forgot to charge it. Fuck. I, I, walk, I walk back to the garage and plug it in. My skateboard. I stumble on the skateboard, so I sit on it so I can be like stable I say enough. Just, I'd say just you wait as I put on my shoulder pad. And my elbow pads. See you around, babe. And I order an Uber. <laughs> yeah. And I go like, oh fuck, sorry. The, no, I go this. This one's mine. I get in, and they go, not the right car. And please then just, I get out, and I go, drive anyway. Just drive, please. Just drive, just drive please. Just anyway. make just me like to, take me into the block, please. This is not good. Why? Didn't she say she didn't want danger? Yeah, please be a good guy. Well, three uh, is sold. Hey, three is. Yeah, I guess I guess you want a little bit of danger. I want to like. like yeah, you where's the whole math guy out? We gotta look at. <laughs> we gotta look up the charts to see like what danger levels are good. I drew some very pretty right angles. <laughs> <laughs> Here you can see on my matrix <laughs> a danger level of three means you are not desirable. Uh, hey mom. What's your soulmate's danger level? It better be zero. Ooh. Yeah, of course. It's a zero. Why? Why would you say it's like not something she's in can choose? I get, yeah. I mean, what's she gonna do? What's this? What's the? What's your dominant do? hand? It better be right. <laughs> well, I mean, the right is better than left. Oh, shut up! Oh, come on. Okay. You are, yeah, you know, badass. I am. I try. I will miss wear a leather jacket. Too heavy. Though. I use yeah, yeah. Too heavy. Too heavy. It's a zero. Good. You know what would have happened to you if it wasn't? No, I don't. We don't allow troublemakers into our family. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Wait, is this the mob? <laughs> well, it's the opposite of the mob. It's like... We don't allow no white... We don't fears. allow any troublemakers. It's the mob, but for good, guys. <laughs> yeah. Hey, no, no, no misdemeanors, no misdemeanors. <laughs> no. Nobody meaner than miss is my wife. Hey, but no crimes, no... no. If you so much as... Cheated on a test, or drinking a spoiled glass of milk. <laughs> we don't want you over here. Or eating any kind of suggestive meals. You know what I'm no saying? No suggestive meals. No pineapple pizza. If you're too cheeky, you don't get to join the Sweet Lianos. Yeah, if you're too cheeky, no speaky to use. Mm. Oh, I'm a fucking small bean. I'm a small. <laughs> we're, we're a family of small. Be we're an organized. Oh. What's the opposite of crime? Um, we're organized. We're an organized family. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got a chore wheel over here. Yeah. Who's taking out the trash this yeah. week? It's Vinny. Oh, but he's willing to. Hey, he's willing to. Look he's at him so putting cool. on his helmet before he gets on his bike. <laughs> <laughs> you don't care that it compromises his hair, by the way. Hey, he'll it compromise his silly, haircut. But, hey, you know, but don't worry, he's got a little around. pomade in his bag to get, oh. get him right when he gets to his destination. <laughs> he still they look exactly like Bob, guys. He's <laughs> <laughs> presenting exactly the same way. Yeah. <laughs> That's actual cultural appropriation. Yeah, dress like a mob true. guy. That's true. Unless you have been in the got a call from Dan <laughs> Paul Paul. Unless you're Italian. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you're me. My soulmate's danger level is a three. Now it's a what? four. Why oh. are you so worried about that? My soulmates don't allow troublemakers in our family. Oh. My soulmates, I think she meant. My soulmate was Got dangerous. Her. They'd Roast, get rid of me yeah. too. Why is the number going up? That's not how he's this... doing more and more dangerous stuff. Well, so I guess in he's like riding his bike zero. without a helmet, not putting pomade in his hair, without looking both ways, eating pineapple on pizza, drinking milk, skydiving. <laughs> I need to find him and figure out why he's so dangerous. <laughs> it's uh, Ben Shapiro. <laughs> he's, he's so cheap. You I'm, got? I'm so dangerous because I'm what the left doesn't like. I, I give you something really bad inside my little briefcase that I take to school. He's, I'm writing I'm writing hot bars that are going to be number one on iTunes. I've been doing my homework late, but only the homework I assigned myself. Class, oh. welcome our new student, Zach. But, wow, he's kind of cute. I heard he's a bad guy. He's been expelled from three schools. That's a seven out of ten. A seven out of ten like, expelled from three schools. He's like a difficult student. That takes a lot of time. A seven out of ten is like a couple of war crimes. Do you know what? I mean? <laughs> ten is like yeah, ten. Like Adolf Hitler. Yeah, <laughs> like three points down from that. Fun. Start building your soulmate. <laughs> no, okay. yes. No. I'll, nah. <laughs> part six. They say yes. I finally get to build my soulmate. Yes. Cool. It's over. Yeah, all right. Oh, there's a premium currency of. Oh, of, it's like a microtransaction. Also, the green eyes cost money, but the brown eyes don't. Yeah, because brown eyes are default. That's so. right. It's a DLC. She doesn't even have. She doesn't have enough to be blonde hair, blue eyed. You need to you pay, must, pay a premium. You have to either reach Super Saiyan or be. Uh, yeah, those are the only options.
Yeah. How does he earn more? So she's more? coping when she says, I don't like blue eyes yeah. anyway. Because she's like, I only have 50 gold. Whatever. 50 dude. diamonds. Oh, she Blake. left. Be serious or be funny. 10 bucks for be funny. Yeah. I think I would take those. I would take that. No, I'm serious as hell and I'm badass. And I'm, Pink. I'm at 11 out of 10. Badness. I love that you're just like going about your life and then you get like a push notification Ugh. for like choosing your soulmate quiz. Yeah, you get an amber alert for race. Uh, 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 uh. Blonde hair or brown hair? Choose okay, race. Okay, blonde hair is free. Blonde hair is free. I take Here. it back. Dude, blue eyes, brown hair kind of hits. I love dark hair, chooses brown hair. 35 buck smackaroonies. Sh- smackaroonies. What's left? Height? <laughs> be a slob. Be- 40, 40 smackaroons for, for beanie. It is tough. I guess my soulmate's gonna be a slob because I don't have enough gems. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say me not being able to catch a Pokemon because I don't have enough Pokeballs. Mama. <laughs> oh, she's fine with that. Okay. Be <laughs> for zero for gems. Zero. Be rich or Easy be choice. poor. Um, be be humble, dude. I mean, relative to what? Or I mean, relative this is a gem society, so maybe that's the only. Currency. This is a storybook. There are only princes and paupers. <laughs> yeah, you have a bee landed gentry. <laughs> How is building your soulmate going? Pretty good. If was... something weird happened, there was a glitch. Don't tell people what. Giselle? Question mark. How are you? I'm not here? done building you yet. <laughs> You're in danger. <gasps> Oh, uh, okay. Hold on. I'm, I mean, it's like the end of Into the Spider Verse. <laughs> like, oh, all right. Well, it was good, but you're in danger. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Cool. Yeah. I guess. Uh, I guess I'll watch something else. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> guess I'll wait a year. <laughs> so I think your soulmate is Mr. Bean. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you're not supposed to be here. Yeah, I, I haven't finished building you. Doesn't have any limbs. What? <laughs> Just watch an advert to get two. Uh, or two to get free gems. That's yeah, what's funny. up with the? It, it's interesting that it's like even a currency thing. It that it isn't just like oh you gotta you gotta choose these things. And I'm like oh I can be. Why am I workshopping the scripts for one of these? What am I doing? <laughs> I do love the end, which provides no resolution yeah. whatsoever. You're in danger. What a problem. And doesn't even say part one. <laughs> there, is, there, there has not been yet. A that part was 2021. Day. Yeah. Um, Giselle, edge of us. There seat. was no follow up. <laughs> I feel like there almost never is. Like it. I mean, I what is the follow? I mean, yeah. it's fine the way it is. It's that gives. Go ahead, hit follow. <laughs> go ahead, right. hit follow. That's the follow up. Is me hitting follow. Oh, she just published it. Wow, wow. Let's build a build a TikToker right there. Well, that's all for today's issue of the printed magazine that you just finished listening to. Okay. Sad boys. What do you think the show is? It's a magazine and it comes out every week. Yeah. Well, some um, of that's right. It's available at your local magazine stand. Okay. That we write. And you can hear it with your ears. Okay. Who knows this bleeding man? You only will. We end every episode of Sad Boys <laughs> with a particular phrase. We love you. Mama. <laughs> Stay goaded. <laughs> Gucci girl. Gucci girl. How you doing? How you moving girl? Moving girl, how she dead looking that future girl? Future girl, yeah, we on now. Take my money, go away, all you want it. Guys are rich for me.